What is up, people? Let me know that you guys can hear me and everything because uh, my settings are all messed up. I want to make sure you're not just listening to blank screen at the moment. Um, say what's up to everyone. Got some weird audio issues, so uh, I do apologize if you guys uh, are hearing echoes or anything, but let me know so I know everything's good to go. Um, say what's up to everybody. One second. All right, uh, what's up, Crash? What's up, Amy, how you doing? Jack Jacks, what's up, Kurt? What's up, Eye Level? What's up, B-Ball, how you doing, sir? What's up, Grizz? And I think we're almost done. What's up, Kit? What's up, Angel of Attack, how you been? Angel of Attack, damn. Uh, and, Sabla, I don't even know what the hell that is. What's up, Farmers? Um, okay, guys, uh, I'm actually making Starting the meetup right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just right off the bat start it up. Um, one of the things I want, definitely want to talk about today is what people are taking as as fact, what people are using as their evidence for what they believe and, and how they believe things work. Because it's a pretty simple thing. I said this maybe a couple a couple streams ago that and it, this is very apparent that it's not happening. It needs to. Why aren't flat earthers in Globers? Literally, one, two, all it takes is two people to do this. Go out and start making observations. F forget the conclusion. We, we both do this. Both sides. We both assume we're right. We both assume that a test will, will turn out the same every time we do it. And we know that's not true because there are many experiments that don't, don't go that way. Um, all right, make sure my settings are right, cool. So, um, I, I really wanted to discuss in the terms of, reality um it being why aren't we really doing tests together why aren't we why is it always the sides why is it flat earthers go out and do these tests there's not very many globers that do it there are definitely are uh soundly sly like all these guys they they do these little experiments but they're not doing it with anybody um mostly the fault of flat earth that because i know soundly's given many opportunities to and invited flat earthers out there but more importantly um it's not a collaboration. It's always a come out so you can see you're wrong. Come or you know, 
why don't you go do our experiment so you could see like it's back and forth all the time for no reason um it's it's not good it's not gonna we're not gonna get anywhere with that shit we need to literally come to a conclusion of where what's happening and and how it works otherwise we're just turning circles right so um the same way you know all the pan panels open topic open panel um the main thing i want to do is is rather than bashing the other side's idea of how things work i want to focus on how those tests can be done and what the conclusions would be of those um oh and also my headphones may go dead so if they do and you hear me go silent for about a half a second it's because i'm going to switch over but it'll be a quick easy fix what's up farmers how you doing sir yeah, don't hear you. One sec. Let's see, I told you my settings are all messed up. <laughs> I'll be the guinea pig then. I hear you. Which one is it? Nope. Say something real quick. And I know it's my end, so give me one <laughs> No worries. I will be ready to hear you in a half a second. All right, talk. Hello, can you hear me? There we go. I knew that would work. All right, my bad. How are you doing? Are, sir? We, are we? Are we're we good, good to go? We're good to go now. Yay! That's always a good start if we can hear yes. each other. <laughs> yeah. Was, so <laughs> I knew. Like I don't even know why I didn't change over first because like I had. Um, my my head like I use Bluetooth headphones, but I hear it in my ear yep. when they're going they're about to go dead. But for some odd reason, ah. like if I hear it beep like the first or second time, like right away, I have an hour, hour or two maybe. But uh mm. I don't plug them in. I don't I don't know why. <laughs> oh, oh we all do that. You think, Oh, oh yeah, uh, I must do that and then you just completely forget about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you think, Fuck, why didn't I do that? <laughs> Hundred percent, and that was exactly what yep. it was. It was like, hmm, something I should change them. Nah, I'm gonna keep going. But yeah, <laughs> you doing, it's, it's like leaving leaving something on 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 the uh, on the top by the door, and you think, don't forget that when you go out the house. Yeah, and that's the first thing you do. You completely ignore it, and you get to wherever you go, and you think, oh bollocks, I left it at home. Every time. It's I like don't this. know how many times I've done that. I, I probably do it every day. Um, can 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 the rest of us can the rest of them hear us? Yes. I, I know can, they can, can hear you because I can see your the desktop bar bouncing. Can I just have a brief moment of silence for Crash's liver? What? Is he fucking drunk um, again? Uh, he has been drinking since uh, yesterday's hangout on Jose um, with Spurs. I think he is, um, to say the least, a little bit pissed off. And he's completely fallen off the wagon. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, and good. you can tell how much he's had to drink by the quality of his typing. Oh, yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine what that's like. I mean, we, we've all told him, don't let Spurs get to you. Don't take him to oh, heart, shit. but I think it might be too late. I, I, think I, he's... I gave him the warning. I told him. I told him. Yeah. I told I told a lot of you guys. Oh no, you're not that bad actually. <laughs> you can't like, you can't take you can't take these guys seriously. They, they no. are a bunch of fucking clowns. Uh, and that's the worst part because. Like I said, I have a lot of flat earther friends, and the majority of them aren't there to bullshit anybody. But what happens no. is, is Chemo Spurs, the oh. Rileys, the Nathans, the uh, Nathan Toms, like the, those guys, literally make flat earth assholes. Like they make flat earth look stupid, and it and people project to that. So if I come across those guys, and then I come across another flat earther, what do you? That's, I got this bad taste in my mouth already. Uh, that's the problem. Not <laughs> I think not only that they make flat Earth look bad. I, I think they just basically give the species in itself a bad name. Yeah. 
it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, it's really bad too because again like everyone said this a thousand times there's nothing wrong with doubting anything being a denier isn't even a bad thing because usually you know it that's how those bad things have that happen come out you know someone finds it or someone hears you know so it's nothing yep. wrong with denying but the full denial end then to have made up a whole new reality is where it's really weird yes um, yes and, I, and I, I don't get it so I, i'd left a comment on somebody's video the other day and i can't remember which flat earther it was he's had a couple of comments for me and my last one was what i don't understand is why why do you choose to ignore everything that's put before you that tells you that the earth isn't flat and stationary you know there are so many evidences that we live on a, on a, a a moving spherical earth and you don't even have to do science or complicated mathematics to see that but why do you choose to reject all that and that's what i don't understand nobody's ever been able to explain to me why they make that choice because it's got to be a choice yeah, and it, it just baffles me it really baffles me but the, the thing is is well here's the thing we all kind of go at it at, back and forth at each other as if you need to listen to us you need to listen to them blah 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 the problem is is we're not really qualified to teach i mean there are there, luckily there are people here that are but and, and and barney had made this very very clear not clear but he made it very obvious to me that we, we we're really in a philosophical situation and that's what it is. We need to realize that we, we, we all are starting from a mindset. And we, we, how do you say it? We need to stop <laughs> letting chemo talk on our platforms is what it yeah, is. Yeah, but I, 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 unfortunately, given, given the nature of who we are, when you go into a hangout and people like chemo are allowed in, as soon as they start making outlandish claims, we can't help ourselves. We have to say hang on a minute where did you pull that from you're wrong and it's very difficult just to sit there in complete silence and let him waffle on for 10 or 15 minutes without going oh hang on a minute <laughs> yeah and that's the worst part because and i know exactly how it is because for anyone who's been over at debate flyer with the more server if you haven't go um they'd know that for the past year and a half year year i've really pressed chemo when are we going to debate you know you're wrong blah 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 and it came to a point maybe a few months ago when I went, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. He's not worth my time, first of all. He's not basing anything on reality. Anything at all. It's literally think, talk, go. And once, you, but now that I'm over that and I can give a shit less about talking to him, he's not an issue to me anymore. He's an issue but because, like, the situation you're talking about now, and, and for the chat, I didn't realize, like, I thought you were joking, but... I'm now reading the chat and I'm seeing that Crash may be letting him really get to him. And at that point, then it becomes personal. I like Crash. Crash is a friend of mine. He's, he's a good person. No, so. no. Yeah. I, I, I lot respect for Crash, but I, I, I think he's looking at what, yeah, uh, his, 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 some, his wife has, has, I don't know whether she's just um, gone to give him room or, or, or quite what's going on there. But when it gets to the point, where you've been drinking solidly for probably 36 hours, your wife has disappeared all over a complete twat like Spurs. Mm -hmm. um, I can understand why Crashes is pissed off, but there's pissed off and there's pissed off. <laughs> you know. Anybody who has a conversation, if everyone sits back right now and thinks, what Flat Earther or what Glover really, really irks them that much? Stop talking to them. I mean, real shit, like, what do you get, like, where are you, what, what's the end goal? Because we all know the person that's basically irritating the shit out of everyone. Yep. Right? I ain't got time for that shit. Oh, there we go, somebody spamming your chat. Yeah, I just got, I'm about to get rid of him right now. <laughs> part is it doesn't really matter too much not because, really oh, we can just turn my slow mode back on yep i think i'll be able to kind of fix this the problem oh yes i'm just gonna turn my slow mode all the way on 
Yeah, take, yeah um, it's... Hmm, how do you say that to make it even easier to, to under, for people to... The reason... And, and this goes for Flat Earth, too. If... If me and you talk, if you're flat earther and me and you talk, and every time we talk, it we turn get and it gets personal. What the fuck are we talking? What point? What are yeah. we going to get to? Um, yeah. It's and to me personally, it's I think it's easier when someone's not. And I think I think what I'm trying to say more is is the flat earthers that are so set in their way they they got nothing else to say. Um, I don't need I don't have time for that shit anymore. And, and I'm assuming and I'm hoping most people don't. No, that's what needs to happen. Period. That's end of it um it's a good topic because this whole reality that i'm talking about it actually goes both ways um if someone's not willing to stay in reality when thinking of these things do we not like i don't even know how to explore it like <laughs> hmm, how do you even say it if you're not sure of your own reality, what's the point? Yes, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly safe in what I think reality is. Until somebody comes along and proves me wrong, I am ninety nine point nine percent certain that the Earth is not flat and stationary because there is nothing that provides any evidence of that. Everything I see everything that science tells me everything that people far more intelligent than me have discovered worked out observed what have you the earth is spherical it's in an orbit around the sun it rotates on its axis at 15 degrees per hour blah 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 if somebody comes along and proves all that wrong beyond a shadow of a doubt fine i'm happy with that i will change my mind but mm -hmm. nobody's done that yeah and it's not even a uh like, I'm not going to, like, that's, this is the point I'm at now. I'm not going to entertain bullshit. It's not going to happen anymore. Um, that's why chemos aren't on my shit. Uh, that's why, and I'm real shit, like, it's, how do I say it? The Globers that fuck it up for other Globers. And I'm not even talking about the disrespect level. I'm talking like Rumpus. Um, and I'm saying Rumpus in general because he's the first thing that popped in my head when I thought about this situation. <laughs> um, Rumpus need like people like Rumpus. They're, they're, they're good for it for this because he is a very smart man. He needs to start oh, yeah. his own. He needs to start his own stream where he can go on those rants. He can like that's why I started streaming because I wanted to rant. I knew I was going to be ranting. I love to talk, <laughs> so it, it, I I started my platform so I could fucking talk. The realization yep. is is that when you go to someone else's platform, regardless of how right or wrong you are, it's not your platform and. And a lot of times people aren't expecting or wanting to hear all that, the back and forth or the rants or the indecisive talk, which is weird because yep. he's smart, but he sounds like he's not sure about everything. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's just to me to the point now where it's we need to be talking, advancing in that talk or stop talking. Um, yesterday was a good example uh, when I we were talking to Matrix. Matrix would ask questions. He was asking questions. And he was making comments that actually were correct, you know, in the comments he was making with uh, how science works or how um, a theory would work. The mm -hmm. issue is, is that we, we didn't get into it enough. Another issue is, is that sometimes panels get big. I didn't want to do it yesterday, but I had to innocently uh, mute somebody. Uh, I would say for maybe their intoxicated issues. <laughs> um, Ah, but, I, I, I was listening to some of yesterday's yeah, and I, I, didn't, was, I, I didn't join in and I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes, I was very frustrated. Um, the idea that you come on a panel and think that you're going to be able to have a one-on-one -on -one with somebody is kind of far-fetched, period. I mean, right now, this is perfect. We can have this one-on-one. -on -one. But if there's someone yes. here on the panel that wants to talk about something completely different, that, that's when shit kind of goes, well, hang on, stop, wait, wait, don't talk this way. Everyone needs to realize that we are adults. We're on a platform talking about something. There's a conversation yep. going on. It either needs to stay on conversation or you need to be an adult and realize it's not your time to talk yet. And that's where shit gets weird because now I feel like I have to police my panels a little bit more. Um, I know I need to, period. But again... I'm going back to what I don't want to do. 
I don't want this to be a flat earth channel anymore. I don't no. want to only talk about flat earth. Last week, I did, I think, I'm going to say about three or four shows. Basically, we didn't talk flat earth at all. Matter of fact, we had flat earthers on talking about the climate stuff and weather modification and hurricane control um, topics. And honestly, I felt like those were the best streams because I'm constantly being able to you know, continuously talk, go back and forth. But at no point is it, are we talking reality or not? We're always talking reality if it's not on flat earth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Topic. Yeah. Well, that, what I mean is, when, at no point am I going to have to go, wait, 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 wait. The sun, you're saying the sun doesn't do this because of this. But in reality, everybody, go the fuck outside. The sun doesn't do that. <laughs> Why are we having that conversation? <laughs> Why are you showing me what? a sun traveling in a straight line and, into a convergence line? The sun doesn't do that. Why are we yes, having this discussion? Exactly. And, and that's the, that's yeah. why I always used it as 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 my my probably my top example, my 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 best evidence that the Earth isn't flat and stationary. Just go and watch a fucking sunrise. <laughs> that's yeah. what you need to do. <laughs> and uh, MG in the, in the chat said, that, and it summed it up exactly. He said, Sean, all you globers made the entire flat Earth movement explode. Yep, hundred percent, hundred thousand percent. He's it's, it's so right. It's it, it's insane. Because if someone came on here right now and said, in the daytime, the sky is purple all day, 24-7, we, we'd look at him like, okay, this guy's a nutter, and we'd, he'd disappear. Yep. No, no, it's not how it works. You want to know how I know? Chemo is still here. He's and he's still a, talking about pressure. Yes, a two-week <laughs> rant. He's on a two-week rant right now about how there's no atmospheric pressure. Even, even Nathan Oakley said to him after sort of six or seven weeks, look, just fucking drop it because you're wrong. <laughs> when yeah. Ethan Oakley's saying that huh? to him, you know he's 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 put his money on a on a losing horse, but he's still now now he started his own bloody YouTube channel about it. Yeah, and oh, that's uh, perfect. Perfect. Because now when I hear him on, on the server, I'm gonna say, get the fuck out and go to your channel and do that shit. Yeah. That's what needs to happen. Everyone like I do it, you do it. Everyone does it. We entertain the complete bullshit. I mean, yes. there's a lot like, for instance, I've made this comment before. I think Chris Berry is a perfect example of a flat earther I don't have a problem talking to. He gets to a little that no uh thing a lot, but he has something like he's trying to, I can see he's figuring it out in his head. He's not, he's, he tries to do the teaching role a little too much, but yeah. He's, he's someone that I can see in my head, and I could be 100% wrong. Once he gets something, he'll be fine. He's just not getting it. And that could be the flat earth side putting bullshit in his head. Um, Matrix is a good example of someone I, I don't mind talking to. Matrix isn't a, <laughs> Matrix isn't a it's flat or earth type person. Matrix is a, is a skeptic. He's a conspiracy theorist. He really likes to talk about what's going on in the government, what they're doing to us, how it affects us. I don't think I've ever really heard him say anything that would be, I think it's flat earth because, and then give us an example. I don't think right. that's, that's, that needs to be more clarified. That needs to be more to exactly what's going on. What's up, Barney? How you doing, sir? Hey. Hello. I just heard one thing that I need to comment on. Mm -hmm. um, Sean, there is no pressure. Earth. See, see, and this is another problem. The allow <laughs> <laughs> these de devil advocate extraordinaires. No, <laughs> you know no. how you can soon how you can soon go off someone. <laughs> no, no, this time it's just a troll. Yeah. <laughs> I literally yeah. have nothing. Yeah, because this one I didn't even know where to go with. I was like, what do you say to him? <laughs> um, and, and and this actually, I'm happy you're here because um, you're a good example of. When some of these things are tolerable and not in a sense of you want to hear what's on people's brains. You want to know why they think the way they do. And that's good. We, we need that because ultimately that alternative of thinking is how we come to new conclusions about realistic things. What's up, Jose? Look, at, here comes trouble. What's going on, guys? Hello, <laughs> Sean. Hello, Barney. Hello, Farmer's Boy. What's your Jose? Fancy right meeting on. you here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The, the, is the sound all right? I'm using cheap headphones. Yes, yeah, as, as long no, as you don't, good. as long as you don't grab the microphone and shake it. 
<laughs> okay, like I, like I just like did. he just yeah, did. I, <laughs> I got you. Oh dear. yeah, yeah. Um, I'll try but, to stay on mute. I got there's a little dog in the background barking, so I'll stay on mute. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, did do you agree with what I just said, Barney? Whereas in you know the way you're looking to hear different outlooks, um, in in a sense, we are where we are today in science based on that, right? I, I, I sure hope so, <laughs> because what the hell am I doing here otherwise? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's ultimately, yeah. I should change the title. That should be ultimately the question. What the hell are we doing what here? What the hell are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, there's, there's either personal reasons or, or alternative motives. And that's a very, very fine line. Very fine line. And we all are guilty. I, can I... Whenever you give me a chance, I can answer that question because it's, go ahead, go ahead. I think it's something that I can answer. What in the hell am I doing here? Because when I uh, rediscovered myself as the earth is a sphere and I made this mistake and I went down the rabbit hole for so long and I did my own observations, I could just step out and maybe just stay kind of listening and participating in chats. And I just decided to take it a step further and mm -hmm. do my own open panels. I, I, I really am fascinated by this subject. I didn't know the hangouts, talking to people from all over was a thing, like in real time, live, interacting. I think it's a 50-50. It's part of the interaction and hanging out with people from different parts of the world. And the actual subject, I'm always fascinated by the earth topic and the distances, the sizes, all of the things. And I have really learned a lot. And I, mm -hmm. I think I learn every single day. It's a little more of a struggle for me because... Some things I cannot grasp in the first try because of my understanding skills, just uh, 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 visualizing things. But I, 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 I just really enjoy the subject. It's neither try to push an agenda, try to, to convince people. It's more to just listening to, to people talking about it. I really enjoy people uh, not arguing about it, but discussing the topic. Exactly. That's, I think it's the best I can do. Mm -hmm. and, and that's actually... And I said this a few times, and I think I've said it to you, I'm not sure, but me and Jose are, we're like almost exactly in the same situation where ultimately we, we just got sucked into crap. We, you know, over that time, and I, I'm pretty sure you can agree, Jose, we've learned probably more about earth and science than we did ever in school. I mean, totally agree. It's the same. Mm, yeah. Um, so in that sense, it's, it's the reason or it's a big part of the reason I'm here. It's a big part of the reason in the, like Jose said, I was always on panel. I started off on panels. Like I always on panels from day one, pretty, day two, three, pretty much. So I always had something to say, but like I was saying earlier, when you're on someone else's panel, it doesn't always work the way you want it. You dirt sure. So I can't just go on complete rants. So I started my own live stream. And in doing that, I had opportunity. I mean, the amount of people I have met and talked to to this day is in, it's insane. And the things I've learned something from everyone. So to say, well, this flat earth crap is this and this and just disappear. It doesn't work for me because I, I'm not going to give up learning more. I have a lot more questions and a lot more people have a lot or and other people have a lot more to say. So that's kind of what's, what keeps me solid right here. Um, when I talk about not wanting to do flat earth so much, it's not so much talking flat earth. It's entertaining chemos. It, mm -hmm. It's really that I don't mind. I, I'll talk flat earth every single day, but I'm not interested in, in fairy tales. I'm not interested in, in let's make something up and see if I can run with it. Cause that's all, all they're doing. That's it. And, and I know that because and Jose, I'm pretty sure you can detest to this. It's to do a stream every day. To do a stream twice a week, even. It's very difficult to have a topic, stay on topic, and progress from that topic. Hell yeah, it is. So to hear Flat Earth in general have streams every day, all day long, but not progress in, in what I would consider a reality narrative shows something's wrong. And worst off is that there aren't any Flat Earthers calling them out. I did. That's why I got in a lot of debates with Flat Earth. I got more debates with Flat Earth than I did with as, as, than, uh, than I do now with, as a Glover. 
Because I, I was like, whoa, that doesn't even make sense. Why are you saying it? Why isn't Flat Earth doing that? More importantly, why aren't more, and, and Jose, this is kind of at you. I, I love <laughs> you, man, but this is at you. Why are Globers entertaining and allowing chemos to talk? Why are, why are these streams allowing George or, or Rumpus, the guys that want to be all about them when they're talking, and then mix it up with a little fuck you or you're a moron. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, so one of the main reasons I don't like the disrespect is because I dealt with that disrespect. I had to deal with Glovers. A lot of Glovers just, you know, just call me a fucking moron. I was like, oh, well, you know, you're, you're taking that, that stereotypical attitude and, and throwing it at me and it's going to piss me off. So for a long time, I felt that Flat Earth had a reason to be as angry as they are right now. And I came to the realization is Why? Why aren't they upset with Flat Earth's pulling bullshit out there? And why aren't more Globers pissed off that we're put allowing bullshit to go out? It's annoying, aggravating, uh, and I, yeah, totally feel you. Do I allow it? Yeah, meh, most of the time. Because, I don't know, for some mysterious reasons, you know, kind of the show kind of must go on. And mm -hmm. I, I know that there are the chemos, you know, and... Uh, a lot of them, they being even attacked by their own side because it's such BS what they preach. But I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of testing. Probably, I'm, I'm a, not so much about the topic, but about the characters and the interaction, how people interact with uh, either a weird type of different topics and ideas, and and the way they they actually engage and interact. And a lot of the times. If a flatter a chemo of, of the YouTube come with bullshit, like there's no pressure, and then a personality, let's say the Rumpus, for example, go at it, and he's arguing and attacking and calling names. I don't know which one would be worst because it's kind of both ways. I'm, I'm just sit back and I go like, what in the hell is mm -hmm. going on? It, Somebody's got to be the better man and nobody bend the arm and they say, all right, you know, you win, you are more stupid than me, but not even, not, it doesn't even have to be addressed. You just got to step out, step back. They say, you know what? Yeah, you're just spewing BS. I'm not going to address you. That's kind of the take of Farmer's Boy. And I appreciate that from Farmer. He's like, nah, <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that with a 10-foot pole, you know? But, Shout out to Marcel. He always <laughs> say that. I, I should have prefaced before because, again, we are we were in the same situation, you know, when realizing it's not flat. But again, we do also have two different type of platforms. Whereas in I, I'm I'm very I'm here. I make I, I have a lot to say. I'm going to interject a lot, and you know I want people to vibe off that. Whereas in you're, you're giving people the opportunity to 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 say what they have to say to others. So it, it is a different platform. So don't take that as a, a like a you're letting him. Oh no, no totally. You know yeah, I mean? no, it's feedback. Yeah. I Appreciate the feedback. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah, but but at the same time, I I, I I tell you right now, stop letting chemo on. But it's not my stream. Who the hell am I? <laughs> but that's just me. Um, but again, well, it, you put when you put the link out there, like for right now, uh, this is a perfect example. Right now, I know I'm not going to hear complete bullshit. Why? I haven't put the link out there. You put the link out there. The second I put the link out there, then I have to be open. To whatever comes on, because for some bullshit, yeah. But yeah, for a bullshitter, you gotta be have I told available. Have you about to the decapitate your tree of life? <laughs> right. So what <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'll start booting. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. So for instance, um, there's another good example. Uh, uh, our best friend, Father Data, he's in the chat, and you know he always likes to utter complete crap, and you know keeps asking me for this curve calcul, this curve formula, which. There's an equation. I don't think you're ready for it, but there is an equation. Um, I'm, I'm not going to entertain it until I know he's ready to hear it. The realization is, is that if you're going to ask me for a formula, um, you need to understand that to come to the conclusion of the e of a equation for to uh, measure the curvature, you need to understand what you're asking for because you're not asking for a, a a ball that's all nice and smooth in the measurements that that would show that it's a ball we don't live on but now I, I, yeah i got a question john who is from your point of view one of the biggest if not the biggest flattered proponents out there on youtube with hangouts and stuff with it's <laughs> nathan oakley it's with, nathan oakley pretty much oh, oh, right yeah, yeah 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 absolutely okay he's one of the biggest flattered proponents and people follow it people parroted him and and qe 
So what happened one day when I went to his panel a while ago, the two questions I asked him, show me, please give me any type of calculator that can predict how things disappear from the bottom up. I can give you three. I can give you the GitHub, very simple. I can give you MeQuest, kind of a uh, medium advanced, and I can give you the Walter Bisling, very advanced. Mm. Now, do you have an alternative? And then the next question, well, where is the flat earth model? I don't ask you for a model, like, just show me something, show me an illustration, show me a picture, a crayon drawing, something that I can look at. What was his answer? I don't have to give you shit. I don't have nothing. I don't have to give you any alternative. That is flat earth. Now, if all the flat earthers don't want to accept that, that's your, that's your cult lead, one of your cult leaders. So if he's saying you don't need any of this, why do you have to ask for these questions? If you don't have that to present, uh, uh, that I really want to see this flatter calculator that can predict things disappearing from the bottom up and a flat earth model. They say, I don't have a model, but they all push the AE map. You know, you know how it is? It's ironic. It's mm -hmm. uh, mind blowing and, and, and I don't know, a little bizarre. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to entertain flat data and this will should shut him up for the last time because I'm not doing this every time he comes in around. Um, let me find it real quick. I was just looking at it. Okay. If now this goes for everyone, so everyone can have an idea what the hell we're doing. Oh shit! Did I really just do what I didn't think I did? I don't think I, I did. No. What did you do? Um, I, <laughs> I, I, because I, I have my live page. Okay, I'm good. I have my uh, the, the watch page, and then the live the control room up. And I thought I just actually clicked off the control room, which wouldn't have been good. But I'm good. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna show. Um, he's been asking over and over for a long time now. What's the equation or the formula he wants? When he needs to realize that it's actually a very, very. I think very, several people have had a go already in the side chat. There have been various it, equations that it, popped it, up. It's impossible. They can't. You want to know how I know this? Because I'm going to show you exactly what you would need to do and use because it doesn't work that way. Ooh, I'm a gog. Okay, so if we're trying to figure out the curvature of the Earth from a spot, this is what we're going to be looking Ooh. at. Oh, okay. does that? Oh, that that's that that includes differential equations. Oh, no, I hate no, wait, 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 wait. This one does, but this isn't the crux of it. This is what you start off with. But because there are these things we call offsets, offsets are basically how you correct the fact that we don't live on a perfectly smooth ball, right? So mm -hmm. this is this is then what you go to. This is a two-page equation that explains exactly how to fix those offsets and fix positioning so you can get an accurate number. Now, if Flat Earth Data believes he can do this math, we can have the conversation. Until then, he needs to sit back and stop assuming he's correct. Uh, so that's a bad... It's, it's been a while, but I... I mm. Yeah, it's it's been a long time since I've had to do any math like that. I think Which I was way? at college. <laughs> and I, I struggled then. <laughs> I know what I'm looking at. It would take me a week to do this. It's not easy. It's not something you're gonna just give me the number. That's no. why every time he says give me the number, I'm like, dude, are you serious? Do you even know what you're talking about right now? That's that's yeah, how that's, that's, nasty stuff. that's the realization of the curve calculator. Again, you guys are not you guys. Everyone keeps talking about eight inches squared per mile tangent line nothing to fucking do with curvature or not nothing but it's not the same thing they're two different things no. two different measurements two different ways of even getting them so the realization that anybody thinks they can figure it out good luck well that, the, that, that the whole not the whole nonsense with eight inches per mile squared because because all of these people have, have watched the 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 200 proofs and I'm sure you can see the air quotation marks I'm putting around that by Mr. Dubay. And of course, most of his 200 proofs, apart from the fact that they will repeat each other, he's just pulled from Robottom's um, Zetetic What's It. And that's where Robottom pulled this surveyor's rule of thumb and sort of quoted it as, as the gospel. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, 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 they're perpetuating a, a, what is it, a 200 or nearly 200 year old mistake or whenever it was at road bottom road it was 150 years ago i don't know before my time anyway yeah it's like i said this is the point now where like for instance i gave fast data exactly what he wanted i have zero reason to keep going back and forth with him he wants hmm. to i'm not going to though no point you know you know what's interesting about uh, my position now that 
I see a person like, I don't know, I'm going to put an example, uh, Manny, Manny, Manny. He's in there like, oh, but you tell me how this works when a helicopter, whatever this, uh, when you see the sunrise and sunset, they're asking all these questions, the simple questions that a globe proponent can ask, you know, with data, right? But yep. then if I'm, if I'm locked along with a flat earther, I'm going to do the same, but the opposite. I'm going to ask him the questions. How does this work? How does this work? But it just doesn't work out because they don't get answers. All they have is questions. So I feel stuck with, if I'm in a room full of flat earthers, I'm not going to have all the answers for you. You have all the answers time after time after time, day after day after day. I'm here to get answers from flat earth, but that's what flat earth is lacking. Answers and alternatives. It, yes. it, it is true. It is true. They don't have yes. answers, uh, all alternatives. They all have this question and denial. And I'm sorry if I'm somebody's getting disrespected, but that's what flat earth is, question and denial. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, you're absolutely, I, I, somebody who won't be named asked me to, to explain how tides happen without gravity. And I said, well, why should I? Why should I explain how it happens without gravity when it's gravity that causes them? And I replied, you explain how tides work without gravity. And I got silence. I've never had an answer to that question. Nobody has ever been able to explain to me why, how we get tides without gravity and the, the influence of the moon and to a certain degree the sun and to an even smaller degree the rotation of the earth. But it's mainly the moon. We know that. And nobody's ever explained to me a viable alternative. And, and that, again, was one of the things that I did a lot of questioning on. And the realization was this. There are, there are definitely ideas. I can tell you right now, I can have a, at least a, an hour conversation about it. I'm going to tell you right now, why couldn't or ocean currents have anything to do with it? Tides aren't on the, tides don't happen at the same time every day. So nope. in the same way, the answer response before I said that would have been, you know, currents moved, currents change. Yeah, so do, so do tides. I mean, and even currents don't change so dramatically that it would do, you would see a difference like that. But again, it doesn't make sense because here's the thing. Here's what made me realize it. And I had to understand when talking about current or tides. Yes, currents do play a part. It does. I don't care what anyone says. It does, but not enough. It, there are currents everywhere. Every beach has tides. So that current is it's not sufficient enough. Everything would be in uniform. It's not. But here's where it gets weird. There are tides in every direction all the time it's not like east to west or the tides only sway right but i mm -hmm. do know that the moon and the sun play a part on this yes and that, that, that's this. that's what complicates it it isn't just the moon the moon has the largest influence but it's not the only influence it's not the only factor and that's when it all starts getting complicated when mm -hmm. you start introducing multitude of independent variables Exactly. It does get complicated, like the weather. I mean, the weather is one of the most complicated things that we know, and, and that's why you can't predict weather any more than three days ahead with any sort of reliability because there's just so much going on. There's so many influences, so many variables, so many things that can change it. And to a certain degree, that's the same with tides. Yeah, um, and, and you can actually check this, people. If you go and look at your tide schedules and look at the times, the sun is going to be in a very very prevalent spot compared to the moon and vice versa. And here's the best part. When we have those days where the moon and the sun are up, check the tides. Then that will be your, that will be the nail in the coffin for you. That's all I'll say. Cause there's, mm. there's something that happens and you will see it in the tide reports and the, the scheduling of them. Yeah. So like I said, um, you have to look, you have to really dive in. You can't just take what people are saying as gold doesn't work that way it never will but trying to actually find that tide chart that I was <laughs> at earlier yeah he, he who is in the flatter topic he is is willing to learn is because of something in in them tell him you need to learn about this subject now there are the people that really want to learn and find the truth of what they're learning they want to adopt the reality of what we live and then there's those that want to learn to try to be contrarians and keep pushing the flatter meme, like shout out to Jaren and others, you know? Uh, yeah, it's because they understand, they understand it. They're just trying to 
learn it so they can twist it and misinterpret everything they learn. It's, I don't know, as I said earlier, it's, it's a bizarre fucking corner of the YouTube, man. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'm, right now I'm looking at a, uh, I'm about to bring it up right now. Because I was looking at this earlier and it's, again, let me make this very clear. For one, it says not to scale. For two, Jesus Christ, don't take this as gold. Go look it up your damn self. <laughs> okay. So I'm on National Geographic uh, website. And uh, what's up, Earth? How you doing? Uh, give me a second and I'm going to go through this. All right. Um, so we're looking at a chart. It's Earth's tides. And it shows basically how it works. So it's showing how the moon's has the moon does have a gravitational pull, and that's when the high tides would be. Your do me a favor, um, mute your your hot mic with the wind. Um, thank you. Um, so it's showing you know how the pull would be. Now again, the moon does not only orbit us on the equator. You got to mute yourself. Um, Earth, the wind is fuck. That wind is too loud. All right. Um, Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, um, in this image that you're looking at now, please do not be like, hey. <laughs> it's not to scale. It's, it's, it's not, the, the moon doesn't sit on the equator. Yeah, good job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, the tide. It's a cartoon, bro. It's a cartoon, bro. Thank you. Uh, well, I, want, <laughs> I hope they understand that. Um, so, we're, we're going to keep going. So, oh, perfect. I didn't even see this part. So, as the moon it changes in its orbital, pet, where it's, or it's at in our sky, or azimuth, the tides change too. The tide, whether yes. it be in different spot, or different higher tide, lower tides, and, and just different anomalies that will happen. Where I like, what do you call boral tides? Very, very rare. Don't use those in your explanation, flat Earth. Trust me, it's very simple, and they only happen in like a few places. But more importantly, that it, doesn't happen on the yeah. Great Lakes. Exactly, it doesn't. It, it only happens in like select few places. The boral tides. I'm not sure what you're talking about. If you're talking about um, Tides in general? No, yeah, they actually do. There are tides. They, lakes have tides too. Yep, just very small ones. Generally, yeah, well, it depends like, on the size of the lake, I suppose. I was yeah. I was yeah. at the Great Lakes this summer, and uh, I didn't. I asked about the tides. No, nothing. No tides that there throughout the year. You asked them, or you? What, say it again? I asked everybody there. The people that work there. The uh, uh, live. Everybody that worked there. You know. I mean, she. You could you you go to those lakes. I mean, everything is almost a lake level there. If there will be ties like you what we have here in Sunset lake. Beach and the in the salt water, it's a big difference. Okay, so do you see ripples in in, in that lake ever, or when you're there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Th then there are tides. Because unless you can show me twenty four seven movement. No, but here we have a for between eight to, to ten feet. Yeah, but there's also an ocean behind it. <laughs> there's, there's, that helps. There's, there's, there's a there's a whole different aspect when you. That's why there's such a big. That's why we have those huge tides. Uh, the tide schedule here on on the coast, as opposed to a lake does. The lake doesn't have a current, a la or not current, but a, um, a whole ocean or a whole body of water behind it. Yes, lakes tend to be compared to oceans rather trapped, don't they? There's there's there's, there's only so far that the, the water in lakes can move, whereas an ocean, it, it's got room to breathe, it's got room to move. Yeah, I when see it, what you mean. Yeah, so like when it's pushed, when water is coming back, when it's low tide, there's still water trying to move up. Do me a favor, Earth. When on when you're not talking, mute, and then unmute when you talk when you talk, because you're in a windy spot right now. But I, I know you have something to say, so I'm not trying to cut you off. Um, also, did anyone tell Earth that um, there are tides on the Great Lakes? Yeah, oh, yeah, I just did. <laughs> well, at least I tried to. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, ju I'll just Google in that, and, and, and yes, they, 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 they do have tides. I just don't think they're very big ones. They're not large, correct? No, but they are there, which is uh, what we'd expect. Semantic toy, or, or, is this Brian? No, this is Magic Tour Warrior, and I okay. have to take something up with Farmer's Boy because right, he says that you can only have more than one independent variable. You can only have one. <laughs> uh, my bad. I just because you sounded like him at first, so I apologize on that part. No, this is absolutely this is absolutely Brian. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> fuck you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew the voice. I was like, hmm, why is that meaningful weird? I knew it. 
Oh, dear. See, I, I, I work in voices. Uh, I don't like. I don't know what any of you guys look like, except for the few that, oh, what? <laughs> that have sent me pictures. Then I so I, I like farmers. I know exactly. You don't look anyone. Happy Saturday! Like that, sure. Welcome to Eglabortion. <laughs> I don't sound like anybody else. No, I know that. Yeah, that does sound like a Jose. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Jose. Like you sound know. exactly like Drust. Just ask. Just ask Anthony. That is very true. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> yeah, but he don't know fuck all. He thought I was from Bristol. <laughs> and and. and, and and has anyone heard from uh, Stingray? No. Um, no, actually, I, okay. I, I, I think it's a combination of two things. The prime one is I think he landed himself a very juicy um, project contract, whatever you want to call it, and I, I think that definitely took priority over helping Ranty making lots of money. <clears throat> Here's what's going to happen. I have an email address, and I'm going to put it in the chat in a little bit. And I want everyone to say hi to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told his ass he wasn't going to disappear on me. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's particularly cruel. <laughs> well, uh, he he made it very clear it wasn't his personal, like his his main. So that's why I'm not even entertaining it at all. But uh, back to the tides <laughs> and f you, Brian. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, and 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 so in this what we're looking at right now, it's very clear. We can use this and fact check it. With the tide schedules or you can go to your beach and check it um mm. but there are very distinct times when tides happen and and why and this is just one more piece of evidence that shows well one gravity is something and, and two where you know what is making what gravitational pull is doing what this whether it be the suns or the moons and yes they both matter 100 percent it yes. could be electrostatic energy that's doing it that it can't be you ready ready for because first of all the electro uh the le electromagnetic field that we have yes it does flex it does not flex daily and it does not flex like seasonally like that not th it doesn't do the same thing it does flex but not the same way it would need a you know what i'm saying when i say flex right now the the poles it, it's for a globe on the part of the poles it's um it's narrow, it's thinner, there's less of it. That would have to literally move around the Earth like all the time to do that. And again, the electromagnetic field is another flat Earth debunker. I'm sorry. A, a, tor a torus field doesn't work because a torus field has north and south in the same location, not a south pole. Oh, and we have, we have compasses that won't work. If, say we were lying, a, nor a, a, a northern hemisphere compass would work the same everywhere at the south pole at the wall it would work the same whereas it we know it doesn't because there is a south pole which is not located near the north pole quite yeah. and then uh, and the United, and, I, and if it was all that it would have to have the amazing coincidence to perfectly line up with the moon and the sun when they're having their own specific gravitational effects on the tides at the same time exactly it, it's it's Again, it's one of those things. It's you, if you're not willing to look at all the actual evidence, you're going to put yourself in a situation where you don't care. If you don't care enough to put in the, the effort, no, no, brother. For example, those questions yeah. that you bring up about mm -hmm. the magnetic fields, yeah. When you yeah. check out the data, where do they get it? So the the latitude and longitudes, they don't go beyond the 80 degrees when they're giving you all those magnetic readings. Yeah. What? What, it, what is it does? Right? What you you, you only get the readings from uh, se 75 to 0 north or 75 to 0 south. That's it. When you check the, 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 all the data that they give you of all the magnetic forces, uh, which, is, is, which is the strongest at the north, and they have done it throughout the years. And uh, you can see that they don't go, when they go do those measurements, they, they sure give you all those amazing readings, but not from beyond 75 degrees up that just 75 degrees to zero north and 75 degrees to zero south it's incomplete we don't have 90 don't, or 90 don't degrees don't. or at least 80 degrees you know I, zero, I zero. don't have a damn clue what you're talking about Let's explain it better what, what degrees you talking about for like example for example you lines? if you ask for if you google magnetic fields on the earth uh, uh, I right? did. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. All right. And the magnetic fields, when you check exactly where did they get the reading and when did they get the reading, and, and you will see that it, it only shows that they go uh, at the north, the furthest they go north to do those reading is 75 degrees. And the further they go, the, the southern, they, the further they go to the south is only 80 degrees. And those are the numbers that you're talking about, that you think the magnetic fields are are debunking the flat earth? No, they work perfectly on this beautiful stationary flat earth. Then where is the South Pole? Look, for example, <laughs> the South Pole, I told you where the South Pole is. When you go to, for example, Australia, you uh, 40 degrees down there, or south, uh, you will see that a, a bear there, you could fight a bear down there, it's the, the size of a koala, but you go to the north, um, and you try to uh, and you try to see a bear at 40 degrees it's a grizzly bear it's different okay. energy What's that got to do with south Qual pole yeah yeah koalas first of all are not bears second south it's a bear a koala is a bear okay okay no, whatever what, no no just let him go where it's is a midget the bear where's the south pole earth where's the south pole at it's in the is in the, if you if you're looking at north if you if you're facing north it'd be in the back of your head anywhere in the back of your head is south when you're looking at north where is take the south a compass pole? where's the south pole it's in the south brother where <laughs> i say sean you have to remember you're talking to a guy who said there were no tides in the great lake provided no evidence for it and it turns out there are tides in the great lake well yeah so i'd like you no, to those are almost oceans uh, those are almost oceans if the if if you claim that gravity is pulling all the water it's supposed to pull also the the great lakes the same, the same amount. Of okay. Not the same amount. Tight. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Let's make this very clear, and I say it again because I, I know I said it. There is a ocean behind the ocean. Therefore, <laughs> anything that happens compared to a lake, which is a smaller body of water, is obviously going to be more drastic. Seeing how there's things called oceans. Yes. Currents. No, I understand. I get that. I get that. But there's other areas where there are no tides at all, and there are where? oceans okay. behind where? it. Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where? Well, uh, I don't have the exact coordinates, but you could Google those very, very easy. Where? Well, you just told Where? us about it. Hang on. You just told us about it? Okay, so okay. I then let me take a minute. You then let me take a minute and, and sh share your link for that. Please. Okay? <laughs> just a minute. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, oh, and by, that, by the way, yourself. koala bears so, are marsupials. You. They're not bears. But it says bear in the name. They're called bears, but they're not bears. They're marsupials. But it says bear in the name. <laughs> Do you know what else are marsupials? Kangaroos. They're marsupials too. And that's my whole are, point. There's different energies rude. in the south, and there's different energies in the north. There are bigger girls <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the north and <laughs> smaller <laughs> girls in the south. Okay. I don't He's want pulling that. stuff I, out of his ass yeah, again, sure. Yeah, big time. But it was funny, though, so I'm going to let that one <laughs> Oh dear! Are you sharing the link today, Sean, in the chat? Yeah, I just actually just did right now. There we go. Let's see if uh, Montreal or Aaron uh, can explain tides. You know, like not just ask questions, but maybe give us their alternative and explanations. That's the whole idea. To hear something else, they already know the globe model. You know, I mean, questions can be asked, and you can be explained again. Uh, again is the key. But I personally would like more to listen to their alternative explanation. That's, mm -hmm. I think that's the whole plan, you know? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, uh, an alternative to gravity. That's why I like uh, Montreal. At least he doesn't say stuff like, koala bears are bears. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but he does give you that. He gives, he, I don't <laughs> mind the being the challenge. The being challenged part is the thing. Okay, do me a favor, guys. Don't say anything. Let, I got to get this point out when he, he comes in here. Mm. Now, flat as data. You got to unmute yourself to talk. But here is the thing. You are not running the show. I don't mind if you talk. I don't mind if you say what you have to say. But this is not the flat Earth data show, so you're not going to rant like you normally do. Please respect that, and we will be all good. Hey, Jose, you mentioned uh, uh, having an alternative, right? The problem with flat Earth uh, uh, proponents is when we debate or discuss, we'll disagree with the globe proponents, and then we'll ha you know we'll say that's not correct, but then we won't offer another model in place. Is that that's your, one of your arguments, right? Yes, yes, yes. Margin. Okay, now listen. If, if fundamentally, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm under the impression that if there is no physical curvature, correct? There is no physical if curvature. If there were none. 
stop. If there is no physical curvature, so being that there is no physical curvature, yeah, what would that yeah, mean? What go. would that mean, Jose, to your model concept? In other words, I need a model to understand my reality, and if you don't have you an need, alternative, it's sir, not true, sir. My question, my question. I know, but why are you interrupting thing? me? Because there's a problem. Why are you interrupting me? There's a small problem. <laughs> you're argue with the post what the fuck being are you interrupting me already, man? I don't even get my shit out, and you're already interrupting me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> um, just so everyone else understands what's going on. You need a model. Or you need to have observations. Shut the and fuck stuff. up and let me finish. Why are you interrupting me? But Florida, that it, it, it seems to me personally that you really don't want to be in this discussion. You just came in to rant and insult uh, yeah. and... That's it. It's no. not right, man. No, now, second, now, second, now, you're, now you're now you're now you're obfuscating and First interrupting all, me. This is my this is my stream, so it's not Jose's. It's mine. You're ignoring so, my point again. Obfuscating. Get the fuck off my panel, and I'm not doing this again. That, I made the mistake in allowing him to come. <sighs> Thinking he changed. But that, this is my shit. Bye. That's well, all I got to say. Yeah, we know exactly where he was headed. He was going to say eight inches per mile square doesn't mm -hmm. fit. He was going to use it incorrectly, and then he was going to ask for um, then he was going to ask for rate of curvature. We would give it well, to him, and he would say no. Yeah, I like the way he said, if there is no curve, so yeah. there is no curve. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, hang on a minute. How did you just jump from if to is? Yeah, that, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's, well, he's by far the, the worst. He literally is, I don't even know what his motive is. He's just an it, He's I'm unfortunate, sorry. for real. He is yeah. a fucking idiot. And that's all there is to it. I hate being disrespectful, but that guy is a fucking moron. He's only around to stir shit up and make other flat earthers look stupid. Oh, uh, he's just sorry. a passionate flat earther no, brother. No. You know, he, this is a rescue mission, and we are war <laughs> with the devil, the demonic <laughs> spin and ball deception, and that's what's going on. You know, and, and there are many oh, uh, really flat nice. earthers. Hey, put this way, Earth. Earth, he makes, Earth is he, my he, favorite part. He, like, yeah, he makes your 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 banter. I mean, it's kind of funny, but he makes your banter. He makes you sound like a fucking idiot because and when he talks, he literally gives every person a headache and no he does, no one wants to hear flat earthers if they heard him before they heard you do you think anyone would give a shit what you have to say no they know that that is ridiculous because of that guy that guy is the worst he couldn't oh. no but, the, <laughs> but that's on the glove uh, glove summit mentality in the flatter mentality my let's say if you hate flat if you have the worst flat earthers that you hate the most guess what he's my best friend now because the enemy of my enemy is my best friend. <laughs> but you're not even a flat earther. I'm a convexer. Thank you. I just want to, I like when he says that because I know I did it. <laughs> and it only took one question. What's up, Maxwell? What's up, uh, Montreal? And well, I, I just, I thought I heard you type in or say that you didn't want to talk about flat earth anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want it to make, I don't want it to be the the main issue on every single stream. I, again, I don't mind talking about it, but we're going to have an uh, honest talk about it. That's why I kicked Fire Dad off my panel. He's not willing to have an honest conversation. And he wanted to yell at you on but, your own show. But he, he was not allowed to say his point. I was interested to hear him out. I yeah, learned a lot from him. That's because he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a love zombie slayer. I'm not sure if you noticed it or not, but he came in here and acted as if this was one Jose's panel. Two, I wasn't even here. <laughs> and that's why it got the way it so, did. He I'm came in hot. He came in to run. When I, before I I'm giving credit. him in here, the reason I told you guys not to say anything is because when he first got in, I wanted to make it very clear how it was going to be. And he decided, F you. So I said, F him. Hmm. So I'm giving all the credit to Earth is Seriously Flat because I'm no longer a glober. I'm in between. <laughs> Max, you're no, no, I agree. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think love him, and you're very he's, smart. He is Maxwell is definitely all Earth, hundred <laughs> percent. You know, it makes sense when you really start to ponder. For example, astronomers tell you that the size of the Moon and the Sun are very close in size in degrees, fifty-four mm -hmm. and fifty, a point fifty-four and point fifty-two degrees. So there are things that we do believe on the astrologers, astronomers, but like when they say that, yeah, it's called cherry picking and data mining. Yep. 
but when they save, those are things you can verify yourself. Barney, get back in chat. I got a question. You for can you. definitely verify those things that they took. But when they tell you that Polaris is 432 light years away, you cannot verify that. So that's why we have a problem here in this beautiful stationary flat earth. Mm, well, yeah, you know, most places on the stationary. earth, they can't verify. You have to remember, most places on Earth can't verify the lactobacillus exist, but they do. Good point. See, that's when faith kicks into action. That's why I call it a religion. Don't wait, that, don't you need? But aren't there things that you have to? No, no, I, I'm not going to take, do you, I don't, I'm not going to believe anybody until I verify that myself. Okay, Where, can you show me the tides, that there are no tides in certain oceans? Or was that a belief you had, that you... Just <laughs> yeah, I can speak on the tide thing. Yeah, what's up, Montreal? How you doing, sir? What's up, Sean? Uh, yeah, uh, concerning the tide thing, if I was to show you guys proof, since Jose was speaking on it, I wasn't going to really come on, but since you guys uh, wanted proof, if I was to provide proof for you right now, what would you say? Proof of what? Proof of what? The great, you said the Great Lakes yeah, had... Uh, yourself, uh, you said the, the Great Lakes had tight, correct? I just posted yeah. something on the chat. I want somebody to read that. If, if, or just put it on the screen for you guys oh, to read um, it. Actually, I think I have it. I, if that's okay with Sean. Yeah, no, absolutely. I actually, I clicked on it. It's, you're talking about the Do Great Lakes I made it. All right. Uh, I'll Correct. Real quick. I heard you guys say that they don't have tides, and you were no, 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 you guys no. were laughing at who no, is no. it on Earth or? No, they do have tides. No, they do have tides. We said they, they do, do have tides. Uh, Earth said they. You don't. say that they do have tides. Yes. Correct. And I can prove you wrong that they don't. Yeah. Right. And I have the proof. Okay, so are you going to pull up uh, Noah no, no, because I, Noah I'm, says it? No, I'm. Well, hang on. I'll, I'll I'll pull that up as well. Um, but this is what he was sharing, so I want to see what he what he was saying. Where he got where's the information on? So you're talking about this one, right? Just around the same page. Oh, that's the one I've got up. It's it says the tides do occur twice daily. <clears throat> Last chance. Okay, I'm gonna give. Before we he's, did you read it correctly? On to the fact hang on, that hang on. So guys, guys, hang he's on. He's hang on, on to the everyone. Everyone, hang on, because I'm gonna let see if he actually get read my message and see if he was any type of okay. And I promise you, I will not stop you guys again to verify if he's an asshole. One second. Do you understand what I was saying in the chat and understand how my panel runs flat earth data? Let me get my point across mm -hmm. without nope. obfuscating me, after without we're cutting done, me off, without after being rude. With this it's no article, after. Let, after. Let, let's start okay, it bye, where I... Bye. Nope, bye. See, that's if what that's I mean, the case, dude. you're just hey, That's, a, that's you're exactly just... how it's going to be. We're going to finish this article and then Why I will give you, you the floor. Why are you such a princess? That's how it's going to be. Why are you such a princess? You either shut up and take the floor when I give it to you or you can leave. Which one do you want? Okay, so I had the floor before. I okay. never got my point across. Yeah, that's a, now, I don't care. I'm not asking you for your point. I'm asking you to answer my question. After this, you can go princess, or you dude. can leave. Which one is it? You're just acting like a princess. Okay, Why? shut up until this is done or leave. Princess, buddy, fuck. Okay, so we're looking at this article. Um, it says, <laughs> tide changes. Changes in water level caused by gravitational forces on the sun and moon do occur in semi dilateral or twice daily patterns of the Great Lakes. I mean, they're, they're right there, it says it does. Yes. Uh, so, twice I mean, a day. Right? Like, you get tired. Keep everywhere. going. No, 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 no. You're not getting away with that, well, Sean. Keep okay, reading. Yeah, 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 wait, 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 yeah, wait. Okay, I've, I've going. got this. I've got okay. this. What he's, what he's forgetting is that because it's less of the fluctuations normally present, it's considered non tidal. That doesn't mean okay. there are no tides. It's just for the purpose of calculating okay, them. We don't. I didn't ask for your opinion. That's I didn't ask for your opinion. Article. Read yeah, the yeah, article, yeah, please. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I'm going I'm to read it. It says, studies indicate that the Great Lakes spring tide, the largest tides caused by the combination of forces from the sun and the moon, is less than five centimeters in height. Their moderate variations are masked by the great fluctuations in lake levels produced by wind and bar barometric pressure. Okay, so in that, it's saying that, okay, so I get what, so bad, actually, you're both right. Here in this sense, for there to be a tide, keep they, going. They, hang on, to be a tide, they need a measurable amount. If it does not reach that measurable amount, they consider it a non-tidal water body. But it does not mean it does not happen. It's just not enough for them to read on a daily basis to give you a schedule on. That's what I'm interpreting it from, or interpreting from it. Um, but if you want me to continue, I will. 
because water levels in the Great Lakes have long. Well, that's long, what we said from the start. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, long term, long. We we term, said that, that lakes and, do have tides, but they're very small, and that's yep. what this article's saying. Are you guys familiar with <laughs> farmers? Please let him finish, man. Let me just get to. I'll get through it real quick. Um, short term variations, long term variations depend on the precipitation in water storage over many years. Annual variation occurs with changing seasons. Um, there is an annual high in late spring and low in winter. These changes occur at a rate that can be measured in feet per month. Wind and weather conditions on the Great Lakes may create a. I don't even know that word. The schmear or what the fuck? I mean, yeah. you know, yes, everyone knows it. Oscillation wave. So basically, it's just saying a like waves is not even a wave, basically, um, which can be several feet high in many of the Great Lakes. The time period between the high and low of the we, we got to figure out this word. What the fuck is that word? Right there. Sizey. I'm just trying to find out how it's pronounced. Yeah. <laughs> for real, that's gonna bog, that's gonna irritate me for a while. Uh, Seish. Seish. It's pronounced Seish. Okay. So the high and low there of a Seish. Maybe between four and seven hours, as as this is very similar to the six to, six hour time period of tides on the ocean. It's frequently mistaken for a tide. Okay, so it's saying. Okay, oh, I see exactly what it's saying. These small waves. As that, Jose would say, boom. Yeah. So if, hey, if do, so, say Sean, if it, hang, hang on. So if it goes from if we're starting on the west shore of somewhere, and we see one of these small waves, it's saying that these small waves account for what we think is a tide, but. It's not saying that that is what the tide is. I said it's just saying that you can mistake them for tides. What about the amphidromic point? Do you guys there is no tide. It says here, talk? consequently, the Great Lakes are considered to be non-tidal. What about Sorry, the amphidromic yeah, point? Uh, uh, you're forgetting but, the first paragraph. What about yeah, the it, amphidromic point? Do you guys yeah. know what amphidromic is? No, you guys I are don't. talking about tidal. Data, data. I, you're I interrupting. Oh, yeah. Do me a favor, Data. Can you pull something up so we can... Your we answer is called okay. amphidromic point. Oh my! Google it. Okay. No, no. Do you Google it and present it because you brought it up? I would. I would. You guys are appreciate just moron. You, guys, you guys are on the oh. moron train. Okay. Well, I'm asking you to do pull it. it up. Do it. Do it. Do it, man. Do Hang it. On. Stop. I'm asking you to pull that up because I don't know what it is. So you can either do it so we can understand. what you're I'm saying. on my phone. I'm not on a desktop. I can't okay. pull it up. Well, then guess just what? Google or this isn't your stream, point. So you need to calm down, or I'm gonna kick you off my shit because you're the only one stirring shit up right now. Fuck. Montreal, the problem with what you're saying is, is, is you're right, you are correct, but you're not, in, you're not correct in the sense of just because it's under the, the measuring amount doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Because it does state it does have tides, but it's considered a nine tidal body of water because it's not, they're not large enough to measure or to measure under the, those did terms. You guys, did you guys hear Sean's statement? It's, it's not a large enough measurement to measure again, but it happens. Data. Data. It's the same thing as data. Coriolis through the through the air, the data. football travel. So on this it, it, it has an effect, but it's unmeasurable. It, it, right? it is a measure. It is it's measurable. They have the measurement in there. You know what this so is? You know it's not enough to overcome the normal function. Amphidromic point. What's amphidromic point? Why don't you point? shut up and no, no, no. listen on, to the point? Brian, Brian, hang on. Stop. Be more. What is that? What, since you won't share a link, why don't you explain it's, to what that means? It's a geor it's yeah. geographical locations that have zero tidal amplitude, you morons. Okay, that's the he's last reading that straight off Wikipedia. No, I know I don't give a fuck what he's reading off of. Don't be disrespectful to anyone on my fucking panel, or get the fuck off of it. That's all there is to it. I don't care if you're here. You bring nothing to this. You so guys are going disrespectful to... no. because you believe boats right. disappear over curvature right. at four are... miles. That uh, that uh, <laughs> Sean is right here, man. Talk yeah, respectfully, bro. Yeah, just so you understand. Talk respectfully. That's all there is. It's all there is to it. I don't care what your view is, but you're gonna be respectful on my panel. And if you want respect, you need to start showing some. Or leave. That's as quick as that. I asked you a question because I had no idea what that term was. If you're going to be an asshole about explaining it, leave. Okay. So, Ooh, but that's so Montreal. So Montreal, you kind of see what I'm, what we're, what we're saying on the side of it does happen, and why there's they consider it non-title though. Do you, do you see that? You no, Sean. I, I don't. I don't understand your point. I don't agree with your point. Okay, it's so written in black and white here, man. And I'm yes, it says there are tides in the Great Lakes. That's black and yep. white. Yep. It's a, no, but then it says, consequently, the Great Lakes are considered to be non-tidal. Yep, because and then on the bottom it says the stage. <laughs> Would you not see that as contradictory? It says, it says to begin with that the, the, the tides exist. Then it turns around and says it's considered non-tidal. Do you see a contradiction in that? 
Same like fictitious force there, Blue. Data, don't dis don't take away no, from no, the conversation. No, 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 no. he's good. No, no, he was he was fine on that one. I don't care if he makes comments. I just want respect and and that whole I'm taking over your show shit to stop. Otherwise, he's fine. He, that was fine. I don't. I'm not minding that. Um, and data, it's not the same. That is not the same at all. And if you can't see the difference, I'm sorry that you're that stupid. Sir, you believe that airplanes stay on top fly of, over a spinning stay earth on goddamn topic. At least. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, it's just you so know the interesting thing I'm about amp amphidromic points. Terms of this yeah, I can't wait you to I can't wait for you to bring up the Coriolis effect, sir. Please do. Okay. Oh, thank you. You just did it for me. There you okay, go. so in the, in uh, I preempted Montre the conversation, sir. Think about that. Okay, so um, Montreal. This <laughs> well, because you've read Rick. Can I ask a on. question here? Yeah, hang on. before we continue. Yeah, but this I wanted to talk Careful. about the same topic on, on it because um, this is what I was looking for. Um, the term non-title is not the same as no title. Correct. Um, because it says in the areas are described as non-title, although they do actually have small tides, they are not strong enough to be taken in consideration when navigating. So, like, it, it's it's saying it's if they're not big enough, they're not measurable enough. To, to be in, taken into consideration. The same way a plane doesn't have a Coriolis uh, out, or thing. Or what do you gauge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't don't start on the Coriolis, Sean, don't, please, man. I, I, I know, I know, I know. But I, I, yeah, so but this, I need an Sean, example. this goes back to what we were saying right at the start, that, that lakes do have tides, but they're so bloody small, given the nature of tides, and that they tend to be a, a small contained body of water. And I mean small compared to oceans. Yes, they have tides, but they're not generally anything to worry about because they are, you know, uh, depending on the size of the lake, only like a few centimetres in height. And, and you'll get more than that on a windy day. It's, yes, it's not enough. It's just, I mean, it's like, it'd be like them going, well, at what point do, is this, like, we have to do so much to get this little reading. Why? Why are we doing it? Why don't we classify this to be the... the yeah, is, the, is the tide out? I don't yeah. know. I can't tell. <laughs> so I, I get what you're saying, and 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 if I had read that, I, I could consider it as no title. But it's, I again, I mean, what I'm doing now, I had to look it up because in my brain it, it makes no sense that they would say no tide, but be a tide, and that's why I looked it up. So it's the term non non title that is literally, I think, confusing you on that on that aspect of it. So how do you unboom something? Mm -buh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Nice try. You're forgetting. How about the other part, the, the oh, one, sure. the word that we can okay. pronounce there? I'll go back. I'll go back. Right. Right. Oh, the uh, sage. 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 What about the sage? The, oh, that is the wave. The sage. That is yes. the small waves that they can, in the Great Lakes, especially that they can that you would misconstrue as a tide, but realistically, it's waves that travel back and forth. A, from a standing tide. wave, oscillating. Yes. That's a good I'm interested to hear Jose's take on this, he, since he was one of the somebody who posed the question. Uh, Jose, can you there? You ask me, uh, yeah, can you ask me or uh, rephrase the question in an easy, simple way, like an answer? Yeah, after hearing all the stuff that we just read out about the non-title and the sage and all that, what's your opinion on that? I think all the information is out there. And if you want to learn it, you got to research it. It was just a little bit of researching here. And the conclusion is there is a variation in heights in the water. It's either this or that. But if you are interested in this specific topic, you can look further and research more. Because this was kind of in a nutshell, you know, just a quick research. If you mm -hmm. really want to learn something, spend a few hours on your own time, you know and mm -hmm. research it well, you will, you will find the right answer, you know. I, I think that's the best advice and the best answer I can give you. I haven't looked into it a lot. I understand what was spoken, and I, yeah, I agree. There's some kind of a tide or a phenomena that the water changes levels, but I don't know how to explain it to you, either to convince you or deny it, because I haven't researched it further away, if you, if you want to accept my, my take on it. My sure. question is... is it? My question is, if they can measure it when the sun and moon are in line, but they can't because it's masked by barometric variations, wind and, and crap like that, why would you think that it doesn't exist? I'm just going by what I'm reading here, guys. 
This is the official story they, from a government they, space. They, you, they, you they, say, it, they you, it doesn't state that it doesn't that they don't have tides. Would they, you say they that, specifically say that the, the tides are measured at that point, but they're the normal way tides operate just based on moon are masked by weather variations, the waves and stuff like that. Would, would, so they're not saying they don't exist. They they're saying they do exist. Would you say that, um, Montreal, that maybe that your understanding in the term non-tidal may be the issue? I think that we both read something, and I'm interpreting it one way, and you guys are interpreting it another way. You think you're right, and I think I'm right. That's the way Montreal, I Montreal, we have evidence that non-tidal yeah, just yeah. means that the tides are not a large enough component to consider. That doesn't mean that they don't exist. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about mainly because it, it does state that there are tides, and and if I was reading it again, like I said, I mean I had to, I had to look it up. I would take non-tidal as no tides, but but it, it does state in that same in your in your source that there are tides, and then it distinguishes between what they consider a tide and why they would consider it a non-tidal. Mm. That's why they call it a non-tidal instead of a no tide. Look, that's your opinion. Me, I take it in a different way. It's not an opinion. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not my it's opinion source, that it says there are tides. Yeah, it's a source fact. It's it's it's. And it's not my opinion that it says Great Lakes are considered to be non-tidal. And it's not my opinion that it says the Seish is frequently mistaken for a tide. Oh, but when we agree, we all. And agree you don't to seem that. to understand that. Though, you don't seem to understand that those are a part of what we are saying. That is included with there are tides. I got a question now, uh, because let's say if I want to go fishing or take footage, I want to look in a website where in my area, and it's going to tell me when the tides are going to be up or down or how high and the waves. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on this area on that, you know, on that state and in this, in the area that can tell you what are some kind of a tidal yeah, difference yeah, yeah. in these Great Lakes? Yeah, that, that would be cool if you find something about tides. That's a good I mean, question. That's kind of it, you know? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm going to yeah, check for that right in, now. In real time, you know, there's actually a few websites very elaborate with temperatures and atmospheric, you know, the pressure, so, the, the distance. You can see a lot of in, information, in, at least in Florida. Montreal, do you, you disagree with the second paragraph in the last two sentences? I mean, you're saying you dis that, that, that No, you're, you're Cherry picking one part, and I'm I'm cherry picking two no, parts. We, That's we, the way I see it. No, no, yeah. we, we we're not cherry picking at all. We're including I, all of it. Hang on, guys. I, I I read the whole thing though, and now I'm on I'm on tides and currents. This is tides and Great Lakes water levels, and again, it says the same stuff. It says the rising and falling of the sea, the tides, are phenomena upon which we can always depend. Are always depend, uh, caused by gravitational pull of the moon and sun. Tides are very long period waves that move through the ocean and, pro and progress towards coastline where they appear as a regular... Hang on, my screen's all small. Mm. I can't see. I'm blind. There we go. Um, <laughs> I seriously have to start to use Zoom all the time now. <laughs> um, where am I? Long we move through the ocean and Put progress your glasses towards on the... There. No, I don't have glasses. <laughs> towards the coastline oh, well, where they, they appear <laughs> as regular ri rise and fall of the sea surface. Same happens at the Great Lakes. Although the largest tides in the Great Lakes are five centimeters and mostly impact are impacted by precipitation, evaporation, and runoff. It, it's it's saying the same thing your source is saying. It's the size, this yes. right here, this five five tides. centimeter tides. Five yeah. centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If yes. is it, it could be caused by somebody What's blowing blowing on the side of the water. Uh, Wait, what what would be the how many centimeters equals zero tide? Listen, I've, yeah, I've been on beaches cool. and I've seen tides. They swallow whole ships, some of them. So don't tell me yeah, about yeah, tides. Yeah, you're right. Those, and you're, but the thing is... Yeah, we're talking that, about this, lakes, though. Yeah, this is a lake and it's, they're different. Because you don't have a, a 20 we're foot talk, swell. We're talking but, really but, big lakes. Huge yeah. lakes. Montreal, Montreal sorry, even if you took all five... Compared to the sea. Well, Sean, Sean, hang on a second. Yeah, go ahead. Even if you took all five of those lakes, combined them into one body of water, they would still be 15,000 some odd times smaller than the Atlantic Ocean. 
doesn't matter. It's Jose, just ask us to bring a tide level. I'm searching. I can't find any tide levels for the Great Lakes. You guys have any luck? We won't do because the tides are so small. Oh, okay. The tides are right. There. Okay, I get it. I'll, I'll, yeah, but the, it, I'll keep looking that's two. That, that's two sources now that have told you they have tides. When I say my final words, I gotta get out of here. I got some stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Chonji, for for providing us the platform to have a chat. Uh, thank you guys for keeping it respectful. Uh, shame on Flutter Data. He couldn't just contain himself, and he just gotta go with all this arrogant attitude yeah you can just chill down a little bit and yeah maybe in the future you'll be accepted back again and i'm gonna make a comp i'm gonna compromise sean and i soon are gonna make a company uh, and we're gonna help flat earthers get out of the delusion we're gonna be called <laughs> the f-e-q-r f-e-c-u-r-e so f-e-q-r from us sean G and jose thank you sean <laughs> awesome <laughs> I won't be your first customer, Jose. That's for sure. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank you, guys. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Boom. I'll keep later, later, bro. Yeah, Jose. Yeah. Have a good yeah. one. Yeah, latest. Yeah, I'm looking right now. So far, I haven't found anything. Oh, uh, FEQ. I like that. A little bit of trolling yeah. from Jose. That's good. Okay, I just posted. A, I just posted a, a link to a to a website that tracks lake tides. Cool. Did you know that the Mediterranean Sea is considered non-tidal as well? The Mediterranean Sea, it's not a little puddle. There you go. That is the Great Lakes Tide Times in Tide Charts. That's the, that's oh, the, there you go. the South Wales Lakes. I don't know if they're connected to the ocean. Oh, shit. Yet, so. Good looking out. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I suspect they are. That's, that's So the are. gravity is selective, right? Gravity is selective here on the tides. No, it's not. No. Gravity is far from selective. It affects everything. I know my spot is wrong. But yes, you guys make me laugh, man. A non force the that you consider as a force and you think that it's acting on tides. Incredible. No, I'm not seeing. That what you, you just shared? I'm not seeing. Watch how you line. debunk yourself. It's ironic because gravity is the weakest of the four forces, and yet look what it can do. Amazing. Yeah. Hey, uh, Pretty uh, cool, uh, though. Maxwell, I'm not seeing... Is that link you showed? Is that the Great Lakes that you were showing? Because you actually sent me the link for the uh, Great Lakes in Wales. It says it right here, and it says, Tide chart, Australia, <laughs> New, New, New South Wales. Yeah, it's probably the wrong deal. Yeah, okay. You say sorry to Montreal. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it, it, in all fairness, it does say the Great hear Lakes. It. Let's I was, hear I was, it. I was messing around. I was but it's the it bits beforehand that give it away. Okay, so yeah, that's that's it's, that's it's, that's down under. Again, it's going to say the same thing in the sense of it's not big enough. They're tides, but they're, everyone's it says the same thing. They're tides, they're not big enough. Um, the Mediterranean Sea generally has a tide that's less than one foot, although there are a couple of places. It says here that Venice, which obviously is in the Mediterranean, has a one meter tide. But generally, the Mediterranean Sea, which is quite a size, although a sea scope is quite shallow, is considered non tidal because it's basically a giant landlocked lake. The same as the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, um, and the Caribbean, to a certain extent, doesn't have much of a type. What the hell did I just type? That was fucking weird. I don't know. Okay, I, post, I posted another <laughs> link to an article. <laughs> hang, on, hang on, did you guys see that? that? I posted it. I posted it. No, no, wait, 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 stop. Fuck everything. I posted another no, link to an care. article. I don't care about that link. Hang on. It says. I just, go no, back. Look, no, read it, stop, read it. Stop. It's funny. I don't care. Stop. Read it. I, no, go back and show up, us what you found. I'm going to mute you and I'm going to boot you if you don't shut up. Because I just typed in tide, tide chart for, uh, and then, or tide chart was some, lake. There was something like, dead, wasn't it? There was a dead pig in the middle of the damn screen. Just, just hit back. Just go back. <laughs> what did you click on? Yep. That's a dead pig in the surf. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was really hoping I was seeing shit. 
Um, that was special. What sort of extensions are you running? What the heck? Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, because we're going to see this again, but I, man. It says, moo, there aren't cows you're looking for. These aren't the cows you're looking for. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, is that a cow or is it a pig? Do you oh, see no, the, it is a, no, it look, is a look, cow, isn't it? Look, I, all I did was type, like I was Cows typing in people. Lake Murphy Tides, and this one came, what the fuck? And there's a cow statue out there. Where? That's a cow, that's not a pig. That's <laughs> a damn cow, what the hell? Yeah, it's a cow. Oh my god, it's a cow! That looks like a pig! These, okay. Okay. these you know aren't what? the cows you're looking you for. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 well, um, magic seaweed. No shit. <laughs> that just, wow. Oh, I, I did what data asked now that I'm back in my Long computer and looked up amphidromic point. And there's a list of the ones that exist and guess what's not in them. Neither the Mediterranean or the Great Lakes. Can you give me the yeah. definition for that? So, cause I didn't really don't understand what it is and i didn't listen it's to a, 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 an, an amphidromic point also called a tidal node and i'm doing exactly uh, what he did it's a geographical location which has zero tidal amplitude for one harmonic constituent of the tide this is straight off the wikipedia page amphidromic points occur because the coriolis effect and interference within oceanic basins seas and bays creates a wave pattern which rotates around the amphidromic point. Uh, hands up if anybody has a vaguest idea what the fuck all that means. <laughs> well, it means that Flatter Data was using Coriolis to disprove Coriolis. Um, yes. I don't know. I, I still get a kick out of that article that says there are no tides, but then they go in and say in the article that okay. the tides are teeny, uh, teeny, uh, tiny my, tides. My bet, my bad, Maxwell. We're, we'll share your link now. <laughs> But like uh, I, that thing, it confused the crap out of me just now. That was insane. It's to do with the definition of non-tidal. What they're basically saying is, if the tide's so small, you don't need to worry about it. Call it non-tidal. But there is actually a tide. That's, but that's, it's it's a, it, when that's when exactly when your tide is like an inch or two. See, like, why would they give such a yeah, boneheaded I'm name gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to something? This. I'm going to share this, and this would be something that Maxwell, not Maxwell, uh, that I think Maxwell or. Montreal would like, but I'm confused by why in the sit situation of us trying to figure out whether or not they have tides or not, why Maxwell would send me a link that would have more confusion to add to it. And when I say this, <laughs> it's not because it says differently. It's because it literally says everything that we've been saying, but the title is very misleading. It says, well, that's why I like Maxwell. Yeah, yeah. But it says, <laughs> okay. It says, okay, well, they have have teeny tiny tides a difference for a few centimeters on a twice daily skip cycle but the change is so inconsistent er, inconsequential that scientists consider the freshwater body non-tidal again i mean it's telling you why they don't consider them tidal they don't consider them tides but they're not calling it they're not saying no tides they're continuously saying non-tidal that is very important we, we do have a habit, particularly in the English language, of using words in completely the wrong way. I think this is a good example. Here's another one. Your heating system, radiators, don't heat by radiating. Boilers, don't boil. If your boiler's boiling, it's broken. Your radiator doesn't radiate heat, it convex heat. <laughs> so calling something non tidal Arabic, when there Arabic, are tides Arabic, makes perfect Arabic. sense. Sorry? Arabic numerals are Indian. Yeah, there you go. Arabic numerals are Indian. They just uh, got introduced to. They just got introduced to Europe via, um, by the Arabs. So we call them Arabic numerals. They're Indian, though. Yeah, it. It. it we. We are very good at getting things completely ass about face with our language. I'm afraid. Mm. So call, calling very small tides non. -tides Finally, something we could agree on. <laughs> but what? calling something with very small tides non-tidal makes perfect sense. In. 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 You know, if you look at it that way. Well, I, guess I, could, I guess I could have called it teeny tiny title. Yeah. <laughs> I would love That's to got a that. ring to it. Teeny tiny title. I would love yes, to have sir. heard that during like a really important lecture. Now we're going to go on to the teeny tiny tides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so in the next part of our series, we'll consider the teeny tiny tidal forces. <laughs> 
I like that. That's got a ring to it. I mean, hell, the majority of things we call berries aren't actually berries. <laughs> That's true. And koala yeah. bears are not bears. Bears. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a live stream of it's not what it sounds. <laughs> it's not what we say it is. Koala bears aren't bears. They're bears. They're just they're, bears. They're my little bitty. They are STD transporters. Oh, yes. Don't mention chlamydia. Oh! Or That's you can cool. say it's not really a tide, but you can think of it as a tide. No, not at all. No, because no it is a tide. They are tides. <laughs> they are tides. It's kind of like saying... Just tiny uh, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly what it is. You can go <laughs> sail, but you have to have the sails there. <laughs> still a sailboat. <laughs> it's like when you use a ruler to draw a straight line. You're still. It's still not going to be exactly straight, but it's within the variance story you don't care. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember the last time so I used to Montreal, really draw a straight line. Are you ready to reverse your boom yet? No, no sir. No, <laughs> well, definitely no. Hang on. no reversal is, of the boom. Isn't there okay. isn't the reverse of a boom a moob? I was trying to figure that out. Man tits for everyone. <laughs> Boobs! <laughs> Another thing you want to be chanting. What the hell? <laughs> Look, it's, it's getting late and I've had some alcohol. Fuck it. <laughs> Although not as much as somebody. I, I, I think you might find you passed out or something. Okay. Bless his heart. I'm trying to find... Because uh, what's happening here is now that it's just... Montreal just doesn't want to see to the fact that non-title doesn't mean no. So I want to find the clear definitions of it so that we can get to the bottom of this. Well, it's, it's like being in zero gravity. You're not in zero gravity. Nope. That's right. You're in free fall. Gravity's always there. <laughs> it's uh, it's actually it. called... What is it yeah, called? it's like uh, gravity. Microgravity. It, teeny, tiny it's like gravity. gravity is not a force, but you could actually think of it hey, as a force. Uh, hey, it's a kind force. Kind of like that. It's uh, a force. Uh, uh, it's a force. <laughs> it's a force. We, <laughs> can, get yeah, yeah, we yeah. can get into this right now. I'll talk uh -huh. about it. <laughs> um, Montreal, a credit card is not money, but you can think of it like money, Ooh, and you can use it nice. like money. That was a good oh, one right there. That's a good one. Oh, yes. Good, good one, Blue. Well, good one. That's yeah. a good one. You'll give you that one, Mike. So, yeah, my bank check is not money, but you can use it like money, and you can think of it as money. God, do you guys still have um? Do you still have checkbooks? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, so, one. I think the old. Oh, I haven't had. Do. No, we have pretty much got rid of them over here. I haven't had the checkbook in years. There are some things that Jack is still really useful for here. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't remember the last time I had a checkbook. I think I used the last of mine up oh, uh, quite some time ago, several several years ago. Because now, now, yeah, everything's online or it's 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 plastic or. Yeah, when you really want to fuck with your contractor a little bit, you give him a check. That way, he has to report it. Ah, yes, that's true. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Makes him run it through his bank. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you're a bad contractor, just so you know, I'm going to make you report that money. <laughs> oh, we just swear when it's 60 days and not 30 days payment. Didn't oh. think about doing that. In fact, I, I, uh, one company I, I, I work for... Um, the, the client wanted to pay us on uh, 90 days. Three fucking months. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> 90 days is ridiculous. Gentlemen, I got to go. It's been a pleasure talking with you all. And you, Montreal. Have a good evening. Hey, take cool. care, Montreal. Good evening. I'm soon going to bed. <laughs> it's almost good morning <laughs> for you. It's uh, just coming up to quarter past 11 at night here. I'm not sure I have to go to bed soon because somebody's got to get up and go to work in the morning. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> ah, well, you know. I don't mind. I'd kind of like to do it again, actually. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm opinionated asshole in the chat there. I really wish I remember what dumbass thing you said yesterday. I almost responded to you. Shit, what was it? Aussies are moonwalking upside down according to these goof troops. Um, right, okay. Only relative to where I am currently. 
Yeah. Where they are, I'm upside down. Correct. Oh, I had that website saved where you can put in your location and it tells you what's exactly opposite you on the earth. Where the hell did I hide that? I've got too many bookmarks. I know that feeling all too well. So, Blue, uh, earlier this morning, I thought I pulled up your channel thinking I was going to watch uh, your debunking of a funny thing happened to the moon. And then I was really confused when Jim Panda's voice came out. <laughs> yeah. I fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that and I thought it, I thought it was great. He did a great job. That's uh, brilliant. Yeah, very good. It, it's, uh, it was really brilliantly done. I didn't see anything I could add to it, so. Now, Jim's really good at that. I'm always pleasantly surprised by what I see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't have more subs. And I uh, thought maybe, uh, not that I got all that many more than he does, but I thought maybe if I stick it on my channel, it'll give him a, a little bit of exposure. I'll get Bob to uh, mirror it, too. Uh, <laughs> he'll give him 12, 1,200 subscribers overnight. It can happen. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what Jim's actual channel is called now that I think about it. Um, Jim Panda 2012. Oh, I thought he was using um, the other one quite a bit. I don't know. I, the one I the one that came from is Jim Panda 2012. He right. also has a channel called Debate Flat Earth and More. Yeah. And that's when he does his, um, his Sunday roast yeah. every now and then. Right. And those are always pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, they usually could good for a laugh. You can tell how good the show's going to go according to how drunk Lewis is by the time the show starts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Um, I, I, I found the, the Antipodes map, and exactly opposite me on the globe, um, you would be a few hundred miles in the sea, southwest, no, southeast of New Zealand. Yeah, so people so, aren't upside down there. They're drowning there. Yes. They, it, 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 if, if I was to zap <laughs> through the earth and appear exactly on the opposite side of the earth, I'd be treading water right about now going, help, help, somebody come and pick me up. I don't think anyone would hear you, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, just like that. space, no one hears you scream. Nobody hears you fart, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you been there? How do you know? <gasps> oh, no. I haven't experienced oh, no. it, so oh. it can't be true. Hang on a minute. Yeah, I've never been here, to the you? United States. <laughs> You're all fake. Well, what? Australia, Australia, they're all time travelers. That's true. Hmm? Well, Ask so them. I might have certainly. I guarantee agree. you right I now, mean, they'll tell you it's it's Monday. Like, I think it's really time travel. Um, Come on. If, if you give it just under three quarters of an hour, it will be Monday for me. Yeah, so now you're on that kick too? Yeah. Farmer's boy, officially <laughs> fake. <laughs> It's really Dean. Oh, no, I'm fake. It's really, what it's will really I do? Dean in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced of it now. No, I'd never ever want to own an electric car. I'm not Dean. Good point. <laughs> Good point. I I don't own an iPhone and and thousands, that wrong with an iPhone, and thousands of pounds of, of, of computer gear and, and camera stuff and yeah, that's so pointless. <laughs> And the funny part, he had, oh, he had all that computer gear, and it was inside. <laughs> that was odd. He's happy. Oh. He's happy. It earns him a living, so you don't know. Can't it's fault the guy. About yeah, to earn him a fortune, so I mean, you can't be you can't be down about that. <clears throat> no. Cars are not electric. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me Make, about it. Makes as much sense as trying to run a computer on kerosene. First car I ever drove was um, a '67 Camaro 350 SS. You can't you can't beat the acceleration and the power of an electric car. Mm. Gas is phasing out. <laughs> my, uh, let me count. Let's see. Uh, my my second car was a '68 327 Camaro. Not bad. 
Was your first one a 1930? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, I see that coming. <laughs> don't, don't, don't laugh. It was a 1953 Ford Sport Coupe. That was my first one. Damn. He had these really cool wheels. They're called wagon wheels. <laughs> it's called rock. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Christ, that, that makes my first car seem so modern. I think mine was a, a nine, ooh, 72, 73-ish mini, but a yeah, proper same. mini, not none of these crappy yeah. things that BMW make. Well, kudos to you on that one. Damn, Blue. Well, uh, it's actually pretty nice. It was, it was a mini Clubman Traveler, so it was the estate version with an 1100 engine, and it went off the clock at 90 miles an hour. Yeah, my car was my first car was in the nineties, yo. <laughs> I had a ninety one uh, Nissan Sentra. <laughs> you know, yeah, cool, but, but it damn. it was old. But I I purchased it in nineteen. When did I get my first car? Nineteen eighty seven. Was when I passed my test, both tests, car and bike. See, but it's kind of hard. You can't really say like my first car was, and it really make that your old thing. Well, except for blue, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could have had like a 70 something for my first car <laughs> I'm sorry but I don't know why I did that I was going to stop too <laughs> well, you want to know you want to know what really sucks is it was a 53 Ford and I was older than it was <laughs> that sucks that damn my parents were born in the early 50s <laughs> ah damn I wasn't even a thought in speech <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I was born in 1950. You're not that old. Oh, well, thank God for that. He's not as old as my dad. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Although my dad was I born mean, in. You're old 43. enough to be everyone here's father, but I, I see what you're but. saying. <laughs> Except for farmers. I think farmers is old. No, I'm only 49. Yeah, you're old. You're older than me. Well, no, 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 I'm, I'm only 49. I'm anyone, only 49. Anyone, <laughs> anyone in their 40s above is old compared to me because I'm not 40 yet. Uh, you wait. <laughs> you I will hope, be. <laughs> I hope so. Let's <laughs> keep it real. I, you're right. I really do hope so. Oh, I just started my 30s not long ago. I'm the baby on this panel. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're not even allowed to talk anymore. Raise your hand, boy. <laughs> I, was, I, I was suicidal when I hit 30. I thought that was the end of the world. It's like, hang on, I'm not 20 something anymore, you know. I'm yeah, and here sorry. you are about to hit your second 49th birthday. <laughs> well, I, 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 I hit 49 back in April. When, when you get to 30, when I got to 30, I was suicidal. When I got to 40, it was like, ah, it's fuck it, it's lazy. just a number. Who cares? <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's nothing you can do about it. It's, nothing's going to stop it. <laughs> and now that you're getting to the uh, uh, an, 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 an anti aging well. I heard there was one. He's got to find it. <laughs> You said there's no way. There is a way. What the fountain of youth? Yes, that's the one. I even saw it on a yeah, Bugs good, Bunny. Good luck on, on that. On a, on a Buzz, on a Bugs Bunny um, lecture, I saw it. Oh, well, it must be true then. Hmm? It was a lecture. I saw it. <laughs> you know, uh, I thought that it was destroyed by pirates, and Jack Sparrow was there. See, so many conflicting stories. Which one is real? Oh, why is there never <laughs> any rum? <laughs> Well, that's already I something think it's I should I should grab some of that. It's not Saturday. Oh shit! It is Saturday. What you guys? No, it's Sunday. Uh, Sunday. I, I, yeah. I just realized that. No, what happened was I remember uh, Brian the other like I think it was Thursday or something. He's like, someone was drinking, and he was like, "Well, on Saturday I'll do a drunk show," and I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I completely forgot to drink yesterday or show up. I think. <laughs> well, I was gonna oh. say that's good, but. I thought one usually <laughs> led to the other. If you drink, then you forget to do lots of things. Or oh, no. I, just, I did drink. I did. And then drink. Yeah, I did drink, actually. That's why I couldn't remember where I was supposed to be going. I caught an Uber to uh, Hooters, and we watched the Razorbacks lose at football. It was a good time. <laughs> uh, it's, hey, it's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> if, you for, if you don't forget where you were supposed to be when you're drunk, then you're not drunk enough. Razorbacks lose yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we have Ben pick six Hicks as our quarterback, and Nick Starkle, for some reason, is gathering dust on the sideline. So we just have no offense. We kept Ole Miss down for a long while until it, after our 10th three and out, we just didn't have any um, gas left in the tank. Is that your alma mater? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I love sports. College football. 
Never. I, it's how? Just fucking eighty-five teams. Well, coach, there's one hundred and twenty-six. I'll have you. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. My bad. <laughs> you really got me there. Because you West Coast idiots can't figure out how to play friggin' football. That's the problem. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry we didn't need, learn how to deflate balls and shit. Yeah, you need to get some damn ball teams out there. Yeah. The only one you got is is Oregon, and if Auburn can beat them, they suck. Oh, mm-hmm. you're talking college again. Yeah, My bad. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I went Little straight to Joe Montana was I actually to like, something. I went straight to, like, professional, because that's what actually matters. Oh, we don't pay any attention to that shit. We, I live hey, in the South. Yeah. This college football here. I was going to say, what team do you have? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've got the two-time loser, uh, not, uh, Tennessee Vols here, where I live. Thank God that's not my alma mater. <laughs> is, even, is your alma mater still around? I mean, please tell me. Did they, 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 like, they like, uh, close the cave off so no one can mess it up? Ooh. That was in response yep. to the West so you're Coast. You're kidding. Did they lose to BYU? Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, damn, All right. We're not lasting the year. Hmm. Yes. Even I got that one. <laughs> I know. I can't. Even, I watch. I watch professional football, but at the same time, I, I'm an athlete, so I hate watching. I, I'd much rather be involved. So I don't watch too many sports anymore. No one talk at all at once. All right, I'll talk I was just up. reading the chat, and uh, Hannah's yelling, "Go, go, Ducks." I'm completely lost, given what you're talking about now. The mighty Ducks. Oregon. Hannah. It's Oregon. Football, a college football team. Or a college team, I guess you would say. Because they're all confused and they got like a thousand sports. Yeah, it's, uh, it's college hand egg. But I mean, if I, if I did have to watch or care, I mean, it'd be like Oklahoma State University. Not the fuck is a Sooner, first of all. Fucking ridiculous. I don't. Think oh, they, they're right. the people that went out there and still land faster than others. Ah, uh, I'll explain why they call themselves soon. Because soon <laughs> suck. I'll be. A, I'm a cowboy, so there you go. That's where I stand in, in that fight. That's the only team I'd ever watch or care about, and I don't even have a reason. My brother went to school there. That's the only reason I even know the team. Yep, that's the alma mater of Barry Sanders, the most electric running back in history. Yep. But then again, I think, or I actually think he actually is a Hall of Fame running back because he didn't have a line to run to block for him, whereas an Emmett Smith did. Yeah. Emmett was Emmett uh, really got it really got by on the fact that he was five foot six so no one could see him, and and he had a line. Yep. Deion yeah. Sanders was pure electric. There was no doubt in my there was no doubt in anyone's mind that something strange was going to happen every time he touched a ball. Yeah, what's the name used to be like that? Barry or not Barry? Um. Deion Sanders, when he doing kick, kickoff returns, he used to be like Good old that. Then, he Deion. Like, then he got all high and mighty about what he wanted to do and started sucking. What are you talking about? He was the best distraction that the Dallas Cowboys ever purchased. Yeah, that's, that was a joke. That's that because Dallas is my team. When Deion Sanders was on, that's why I was like, what you, oh, God, shit show. Exactly what it was. It's like, wait, wait. You're fighting with the coaches and the owner because you want to be a wide receiver but ahead of Michael Irvin. Get out of here. Bye. Bye. Don't let me talk. <laughs> you got to love how M. Stone in the chat thinks I'm being serious about Emmett Smith being, is it being that short. I think he was, wasn't a big running he was, back. He was 5'9", I think. If I remember correctly, 5'9". Yeah. Guy acts like I'm not a Cowboys fan. I'm just very cynical. <laughs> God damn it, Maxwell. Can you get out of the cave you're in? Because you are low, low, you're robotting like a mother. Right, guys. Um, it's getting towards my bedtime. And given the fact that I haven't got a fucking clue what you're talking about, I'm going to bail out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so that's what we do. Start talking you sports. might as well be talking. Oh. You might as well be talking. Oh, Change the <laughs> subject, farmers. We'll talk about something else. No, uh, well, it, well, he lives in the UK, man. No, no, don't understand it, what football is. Look, it, it's it's half past it's half past eleven. It, it's it's my bedtime, so I need a bailout anyway. Yeah. But it it has been 
it's been most entertaining because otherwise I'd have been sat downstairs desperately trying to find someone to watch on the telly, and that's fuck all. So, where you go? Do you happen to know for some reason why the Tottenham Hotspurs um, yell "Yid Army" at their players? What the hell did you just say? Um, no, because I don't follow football over here either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I follow about... most motorsport and rugby, and that's about it. Yeah, you have like teams called like Galaxy. Oh, what the hell? Do we? I, think well, so. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Or I'm thinking Canada. Same thing. <laughs> so, am I roboting still? No, yes, that's yes. no. You you were clear yeah, there. Back no, up and leave do it me again. alone. Okay, but I do have. Oh, it's clear. Party, so I gotta mute. <laughs> Farmers are anyway, clear. Yes, you are. He's winding so, up. So you follow motorsports. What do you think of that uh, Volkswagen electric Formula One car that just set a world record? Not interested. I really. I, I really hey, don't. Hey, I Maxwell, don't like electric cars. Wait, hang on, Maxwell. You started off by saying you know motorcycles, and then you asked him about a Formula One. Does that makes sense to you. No, he said. No, he didn't say motorcycles. Yes, he did or he said something about motorcycles? Oh, I so, do know about motorcycles as I have two of them myself. But he did say why. motorsports. But you know yeah. what? He was roboting, so I didn't understand. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you guys are just going to fight for the rest of the rest of the. Uh, what is it, afternoon or evening over there? I don't know. Afternoon, where I am. There you go. But Maxwell's robots, it's really good. It sounds like kind of an out of tune banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, Blue, you do make me laugh. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's outstanding. Out of tune banjo. Right, well, I'm going to bail anyway. It has, uh, Sean, thank you very much. Wonderful thank hangout. It's been very entertaining, but I need to go to bed. All right, sir. Thank you for being here. Um, I will catch you on the flip side. Yep. Yep. See you, guys. Take care, farmers. And Take you. Care. See ya. Well, it seems like it's just been very few people in the hangouts lately. Uh, we had, I think it was about nine earlier. Everyone's kind of bailed out, though. Well, it's kind of getting to that point anyway. I can, I feel it. And that way, and it, it's, what's going to end up happening is, is you'll end up leaving and Blue will end up leaving and I'll get stuck with Maxwell here. And God forbid that shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a wrap as well. I mean, why, why, you know, keep going if there's no reason to. If we're not talking about anything anymore. Once yeah. you start talking about college football, phew, all hell is done. Yeah. I just well, said, go ahead. Let's turn to the chat. Somebody yes. give us a suggested topic here. Yeah, a good one, please. <laughs> yeah, a good topic. Yeah, crashes. You should come in and join us, man. Come we on, don't have any, we don't have anyone here to make you to make you angry. I don't think. Oh, I can make him angry. Be fun. There you go. There's a link. Yeah, guys. This 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 stream is completely dependent on you guys now. Dependent on us. Oh, Not God. You, I, I said in the chat. Oh, thank and God. No, yeah. I'm, you guys have already shown you're not very good at topic choosing right now. <clears throat> well, the thing is, I like, I really like Montreal. So it's really hard to, it's really hard to not. Uh, I, I, I want to tear into him when he's not here, but he's really too good a person to do that to. I, I really think this will happen. I think he, he likes the argument. He like, obviously wants to be right. I honestly do, though, think that. As soon as he left, he looked it up. I hope. Yeah. That's what he comes across as, someone who would do that, to me at least. I just hope he doesn't um, goldfish us and just forget everything we talked to him about today, and he comes back with it again. Mm, I don't think he will. He usually has something to say. You know, he usually brings different topics up. What's hey, up, Chris, what's up, man? I is fucking drunk. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ. Perfect. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Oh, Dan's got a good topic. As long as, in the as, long as you don't wet yourself, it's all good. Dan, you can't. All oh, right, that's probably not it. Okay. Yeah, no, no, that's it. He wants to talk about Pink Floyd. We can talk about Pink Floyd. No, we can't. I'm not interested in talking sure? about Pink Floyd. All right. Well, never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> Angel of Attack came up with a solution, though. So uh, yeah. a low center of density disequilibrium is key to a good running back. There we go. That's true. 
successfully tied flat earth to sports. Congratulations, you're ruining sports now. (laughs) (laughs) Be so proud of yourself. You know, that actually would be interesting if you could have a lower muscle density in football and it would allow you to run through other players. Yeah, lower center of gravity. You get under a player, you'll go through them. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about lower height. I mean, uh, like uh, this, oh, you have lower density, therefore you float over top, or you have higher density, therefore you go underneath. Oh, you're not talking reality anymore. Okay. <laughs> I'll see how We're it is. Flat earth. When were we ever talking about it's, reality? It's as real as the bullshit they talk about. Yeah. All right, I got to mute because it's about to get super late, old lady loud in here, so continue. There was somebody like that, Brian. His name was Walter Payton. Yeah. He wasn't small though. He just ran through people. Uh, I think he retired before I was born. He died before you were born. <laughs> truly. Oh, Walter Payton. Okay, sorry. I was uh, I was thinking someone else. Yeah, truly. Good buddy of mine that uh, I went to high school with, played football in high school in high school. <laughs> Was a star running back, University of Alabama, a guy named uh, Johnny Musa, and uh, he got <laughs> he got drafted by Chicago. Unfortunately, they had drafted Walter Payton the year yeah. before. Oh shit! Oh no, he died after I was born. He did retire a couple. He did. He retired a year before I was born. Seventy huh. something. What was it? Uh, he retired in eighty seven. Walter Payton. Yeah, he retired in 87, uh, died in 99. Hmm. Oh. I thought he died uh, earlier than that. Uh, that's no issue. Um, trying to figure out what Dan's got this. Um, let's see, got this lemon prototype. Let's see. Now, is this an actual prototype or is this what is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got Dan dropping all sorts of memes in the chat. Look at that. 44 government documents that say that the flat earth exists. From free minded. Oh, this. <laughs> This is the guy that's under the impression that um, pretty much all the time light is being bent up instead of down due to refraction. <laughs> oh, the guy that when we uh, were discussing the Roger centers with him, he was completely unaware that if um, the Earth was flat and we were seeing 100% of everything over to the Roger Center, that there was a couple islands, a forest, a park, and an airport missing from in front of the Roger Center. Yes, an entire airport. And all oh, the airplanes there on. You guys are talking about Toronto. Yeah. That was the proud. That was my, one of my the best streams I've ever had. There's a oh, whole God. damn. There's there's land masses missing. Missing. Forget the skyline. Why are we talking skyline? <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, big shout out to Darkseed. and I think he was the one in the chat who pointed out to us that um, um, we were missing the island. He not only pointed out that we were missing an island, he was able to locate the observational point. He was able to give us a accurate uh, positioning of where those missing land masses were. He was actually the reason we found out that the Toronto skyline is no longer any kind of flat earth evidence. Yep. Yeah, Dan really does have a lot of debunked memes. Just, he's now saying that uh, him and Wari images are composited. It's like, oh well. You know what else is composited? Your actual vision. 
Yeah. Um, with, with in relation to to Dan, you guys were here when Uber came on the stream, right? Uber. Flat I'm Earth. not sure. About this. Okay, so Uber Flatters is he's a he's a good friend of mine. Um, he's also one of the guys that were were there for um, the the Salt and Sea uh, laser test and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he made it clear that for one, Dan wasn't part of the crew. Oh, because Dan wasn't even there, even though Dan keeps saying he was. So a bit about. Oops, sorry about that. I was about to say, who the hell is on my panel? <laughs> Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Dan wasn't there. Dan kept saying, "Well, it started off. Dan was part of the team. Then we realized Dan had no clue what he's talking about. Then we found out Dan was the hot dog, the hot dog vendor. And then after that, we talked to Uber, and Uber said he wasn't even there. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe he wants to, you know, be honest. But I guess not." We were uh, there five times, even though they no, 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 done. No, no, no. Uh, we were there. We were there. Uh, yeah, we were there five times, dumbass. Um, there hasn't even been five salt and sea tests, dumbass. <laughs> like, come on, man. At least they stop. Yeah. Think about it. Think about all your bullshit that you come up with on on the internet, and then compile it to one truth, please. And if there were five attempts there, Dan, why is there only like one recording? <laughs> Did you only find what you were looking for one time? Or did you only think you found what you wanted one time and couldn't find it at all the other three or four times? Yeah, and, and Dan, he said, how many times are you going to lie to these people? I'm not lying. You are. I'm just showing how I know you're a liar. That's it. Show me different. What's the, what's the, index, of, what's the index of refraction for air? Google it at least. I bet he still gets it wrong. with this i guess i'm actually gonna get out of here because i got a bunch of family over now and uh he said why would i lie to you or anyone else i don't know we don't know you dan we just know that you lie it's <laughs> pretty simple <laughs> because that's how that's how flat earth makes us money by lying to people yeah we we basically we scientifically method your uh your words and we've concluded that you're a liar sorry i mean every time you talk it's repeatable. We can figure that out. Um, multiple. I mean, flat, put this way, Dan. Flat Earth and the globe feel the same about you. I'm guessing we're you're we're right and you're wrong. We can't even we can't even agree that you know gravity is real or tides or air pressure, but we all know. Bye. So that's just, it's pretty simple. That was actually probably the easiest scientific experiment we've ever ran. But uh, anyway. Brian, you never have anything to uh, promote. You want to say something? Last words? Um, actually, I'm eating right now, so no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, I, I get three more seconds, and then you're done. So, one, two. All right, I'll promote Big Blue's <laughs> channel because he's the one that's got a channel that I know of and crashes when he's sober. Uh, oh. He's one hell of a mechanic, even though Aaron doesn't think so. Wait, wait, wait. We may not be done. My boy, Free Minded, is here. Wait, we may be done, but it may it may have to be a one on one though, because I like to keep this going. Free minded in the chat says the airport is blocked by refraction, proving my point. Free minded. Refraction does not block anything. <laughs> refraction is not an object. It's not an obstruction. That would mean that right there. If for that to be refracted out of our vision, for some reason, all the light is coming towards us, but something that's closer to us decided to refract up and interrupt that other stuff and then pass out of our vision. I mean, this this invitation is only too free-minded in the chat. I mean, you, I don't care who comes on, but this is for free-minded. I just put a link in the chat. Um, if Let me make to, a Microsoft paint of what he's saying. If he wants to continue the conversation, he's more than welcome to come on. Um, otherwise, I'm going to end the stream. Um, I think I may hit him up. We, I'll try to get something going for a little bit later on. Um, but I, I got family here. I, I, I would like this to keep going so I don't have to be near him. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll see. But other than that, um, if, if anything, what I'll do is I'll, I'll talk to Free Minded in, uh, in Discord and see if we can get something going for maybe like a couple hours or something. We'll go, I'll come back on. No problem with that. 
Yeah, uh, don't run too far, Sean, because I, I really want this. Uh, I really want this real fast, so it'll be just a moment for oh, the no, no. Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, uh, wait, wait you have some. Wait, you just confused me. You, you want to get what out? You say Microsoft? Microsoft Paint. Oh, okay. Well, let's get that set up. Um, Max, Crash, Big Blue. Got any guys you want to promote while Brian gets that ready? Hmm. Uh, no, Brian already promoted me, so I don't need to do anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Crash. I'm gonna hit I'm you. I'm promoting up. Sean G's channel. Thank you. You know what? So why couldn't you have done that, Brian? I promote Big Blue. Channel. Huh? We're already on your channel. So. I'm sorry. So out, shout out to Sean G's channel whoa, as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't go against Blue. That's you already promoted him. You can't not. You can't take his promotion back. This is an is he unpromoting me too? Yeah, like what? Like what the hell is that? In right. addition, that'd be a, a demotion. Yeah, like I'm Maxwell hurt. already promoted me. <laughs> or already uh, shout shouted me out. Why? You can't take your shout out back. That's fucked up. I didn't take it back. I just added one in, in addition to. It's like double, but you're Max already did. You you don't have to brown nose me. You're my friend. You're always gotcha. Right. Appreciate that. Thank you, Sean. Step it up next time, though. <laughs> <laughs> but you got this paint thing ready yet? What's what's going on? Oh, I just need uh, one more line, and that will be it. This better be awesome. If oh, it's, it, it's, it's half ass beyond me. It's half ass beyond that. And if it's like a set of boobs, I'm going to be pissed. Not, not <laughs> because they're boobs, but you know. <laughs> Oops. That's not the right sort of line. There we go. This is more half ass than usual, so I'm going to apologize. I can't wait. For yeah, here we go. This is what Light would have to be doing according to Freemind. Yeah, kind of not the, that way. Which has been explained. So. But I would like <laughs> to have that conversation with him because he, he's very passionate about that he wants to know what's going on, but I do see that he runs with a lot of other people's ideas of how it works and then doesn't really follow through. I want to get into that. And we still have that whole sun uh, path and all that shit, shit to talk about. Because every, believe it or not, every time we've had we've had an opportunity to talk about this since the first time, we go somewhere and then people just destroy. That's why I was saying I'd have to have you guys muted or something for one-on-one. Because we've literally tried to have a conversation about the sun's path and everything probably about five, six times free-minded. And every time we start, it gets derailed by somebody. Not you guys, but I'm saying like in Discord and everything. Oh, he wants a flatter version. I can do that too. No, you can't. You would have like you have your disp- your your um, diagram that you just did showed. How did you base that? What did you base that from? I based that off a of globe. He wants to see what it'd be like on a okay. flat Earth or back in the way. I can do that. No, you can't. You wonder why? Because for you to have done what you did, you needed to got, have gotten your data from somewhere. This is another thing. No one like this whole model thing. The reason a model thing is brought up so much for flat earthers is the fact that you need data to may have a model. You don't have a model and then we decide what where we live. There's no model. So you can't have a flat earth model or a flat earth version because there's no model to get your data from. True. I can show him the absurdity of what he's saying. That is very true. But then again, how does he refute it? Because he doesn't even have data to refute it with. And that's the issue. Realistic, I mean, there is no data. Therefore, how could you be... How are you so sure about what you believe? And you can ask the same thing for Glovers, but I'm going to show you a bunch of data that helped me come to my conclusion. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, yeah. I think what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and end it. Um... I'm going to I'm going to hit up free minded a little bit, in a little bit over the hangouts over the Discord and we'll figure something out and then I may go live in a couple hours we'll see. All right, all right guys, yeah. thank you, appreciate it, and uh, I'll no talk to you guys around. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Maxwell and Crash. 
and you too, Brian. All right, guys. Um, like I said, gonna end it. Um, I'll talk to Free Minded. Maybe we'll get a, little, a stream going a little bit later on, and uh, we'll go over these talking points because I definitely want to talk to, to Free Minded about the sunrise sunset situation. And then also, uh, I see he says there is no globe model, and I can evidently. I, and I hate saying the word, but I'm going to say it. I can prove to you there is multiple globe models, and for good reasons. Um, but with that said, guys, I'm gonna get out of here, and we can. Uh, Figure things out from there. With that being said, thank you. Appreciate everyone being here and sticking with me. And I will talk to everybody soon.